you blew up a lot of innocent by the standards in that casino. <laughs> in my defense, uh, it was self-defense. There were self-defense grenades. <laughs> Psychotronic Hustle, Backdoor Boogie, time for the recap. It's been a while, but it uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Um, so I think we first, uh, first, first off, we found a cryopod in the uh, stashed away. Um, we then found out Master Chief was inside of it. And he said that he's been here long before us. But uh, we got this from uh, the, what's his name? The, uh, the... Big Montana. Yeah, Big Montana. So we don't know about that. I think yeah. we're on a mission to, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm lost now already. <laughs> it's been a while. Well, you stuck well, Obi in the uh, cryopod. Because he was losing brain cells. Yep, he's losing brain cells by the minute, and he needed those, so we jammed him in the cryopod. Um, after we found Dalton, Jim remembered that the ship is basically salvaged from, like, leftover ships from leftover wars, just like any space junk that was floating around. Mm -hmm. Whoever made the ship before Big Montana got his hands on it was just a, a scavenger that was just flying around grabbing hunks of ships and making a shit work. Um, the Jawas then stole Karis' body, and uh, they, they, it went into the vents, and we'll probably never see that again. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, we were then going to, uh, is it that shipyard? I think it was a shipyard. That port we went to when we found Nighthawk. Yeah, you were you went to Vanguard Nebula Shipyard, That's and you yep. docked there. Yeah, and that's where we found Nighthawk. He had also just jumped in. And then hailed us. Or no, we hailed him. And then, uh. Yeah, he was one of our buddies from, um, from me and Karis's days. Yep. I think he was a psychic as well. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We then, uh, <laughs> met up with him on his ship because he said he could, uh, help Obi out. Created a temporary suit for Obi. He's got about, was it like two weeks to live? Six to eight days. <clears throat> oh, so one week to live. <laughs> You'll be fine. Seven yep. days. Um, then we heard a sector alert come over the horn after we also made arrangements to take uh, Svetlana. Uh, Svetlana? Did I say that right? Uh, it's Ada, isn't it? Ada. Ada. Yep. Oh, then why did your name say Svetlana? <laughs> oh, yeah. I have so many names. Because <laughs> I like to confuse people, that's why. Are you confused yeah. yet? But yeah, then we got Ada pawned off on us because she had been a ship space shipwrecked basically when the Nighthawk found her. She stole my ship. <laughs> She's also from a Tech One city, I'm pretty sure. So she has no idea what's going on around her. <laughs> yeah, uh, yep. Tech Level Two. Yep. Uh, tech Level Two, yeah. Still a shithole. Yep, we got her back on our ship after the. Uh, the, the system-wide alert happened, or the sector alert happened, and we discovered that, holy shit, we need to get out of here fast <laughs> before we get the, the strong hand of the law coming down on us. Uh, we then contacted the curator lady to get us the hell out of the area and to send us on a job. Uh, she was able to get us on one of the uh, mega carriers. Yeah, the uh, kill them all syndrome. Yep. 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 <clears throat> sent us down. Uh, we also made arrangements to sell the cryopod while the, we were there. Yep. 
went out and found uh, the the third moon from the planet where our uh, target was to get uh, Serene's body. Yep. Uh, went through a whole trial ordeal after uh, making our way through the swamp <clears throat> with nonstop machine gun firing and much ammo wasted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, a lot of wasted ammunition. Yep. <clears throat> um, we met friend. Really met friend, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> friend. And then killed friend. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, met the friend who was the spy from the fourth layer of hell. Yep. And then uh, he found us a weak point in the wall to get into the city. So we went ahead and we ripped a hole through the wall and uh, drove into the city. And while there, machine gun fire nonstop again, obviously not scaring the locals in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Even though no one was attacking us at that point. <laughs> <either. So>. Correct. <laughs> yep. And we get in there. And as we're going in, uh, Delton uh, decides, oh, I don't but trust this guy suddenly. And he jumps off the back of my vehicle and jumps onto the back of the truck and kills him, our friend. Yep. Yeah. And when he dies, he, he uh, burns a hole in the uh, driver's, the passenger's Yeah, he got side. through my floorboards. Yep. Yep. Asshole. I gotta and, fix that. Yep. Then there's this giant black cloud forming above the temple and lightning striking down and it's like, okay, this isn't good. <laughs> and we make it to the temple and there we meet the uh, one of the people there and he's like, oh yes, if you want to get the body back, you can, but first you must pass three trials. And yeah. we go out to go ahead and do the uh, trials then. By going into the building. We also found out that this has actually hell. One yeah, the, the layer uh, hell. third layer, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yep. Third layer <clears throat> of hell. And we start doing the trials, which involves a lot of shooting, like everything in our lives. Yeah, you crit kill the, the, the chain demon that was outside the temple. He didn't even get to attack. He, he smoked yeah. him. He got fucked. <laughs> in his defense, when he saw us, he should have gone ahead and said, nope. And just left. <laughs> you know, you know that would have been the smart move there. Right. Mm-hmm. Dalton got his ass whipped around by the trash monster. That was yep. pretty funny. And yeah. I had to keep shooting the damn tentacle to help him every time. Yeah. Yep. It was funny as hell. He was just, ah, thunk. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah>. thunk. <laughs> I think I should have gotten XP for the damage done to Dalton by him falling every time. <laughs> but... And, um, and- then we had to touch a skeleton hand, I'm pretty sure, which yeah. then teleported us, to, teleported us into a uh, crypt. Yeah, of you're some like sort. In your own, yeah, you're each were in your own little tomb. It was kind of nice yeah. and warm. Which Jim used as a his peg leg, Ellie May, to break his way out of. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> and uh, then we and all found we each missed, other. Yeah, and we found then we found Serene's body. Uh, yeah. the the body which we we'll, had to do for this mission and we got out of there. I think we got teleported out of there somehow. Yep. yep. <sighs> uh, no, you you drove back. Drove back you, to our you ship. Left back. Yeah. Serene's body yeah. was in pristine condition. Uh, yep. You drove back. Uh, gates got open for you. You made your way back and then left the planet. And as you were leaving the planet, uh, leaving this moon, there was a red moon close by that seemed to pull the ship in its direction and then the power went out and then all of a sudden you were away from that red moon not stuck in its gravity anymore yep uh then you spike drived out again and met up with the carrier and you are now on the carrier as you have landed your ship uh all these other ships that they sent out are all returning uh you don't need to make a notice roll because you notice that no pilots get out of any of these little ships that land on this carrier. Basically, somebody comes over and like un, you know opens the hatch up, and they just take out like a like looks like a data block or something. Like they pull it out and they're all hooking wires up to <laughs> them and like looking at them. The hell kind of robot ship flying shit is this? <laughs> 
Uh, you see one of the the uh, the Sindum people all wear like gunmetal gray jumpsuits, and one of them comes over. He's got like some kind of scanner or something. He's looking. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm picking up Rooney on your ship. Uh, uh, I don't think that's right, though. Where Where'd you guys go? Let me check my pad here to see what your destination was supposed to be. It was a training, what? some kind of training flight you were on. Yeah. What What did we pick up? Uh, we call it. We yeah. We call it Rooney. It's called Runo Rono Trim. What the hell kind of food time fuller is that? How the fuck do we get it off? But uh, yeah, you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't have it on your ship. I don't. It doesn't make any sense. Oh man, I, I probably need to calibrate this floating around. What now? Maybe we smeared a chunk of it while we were floating around. I don't know. I don't remember hitting anything. Hmm. You guys were just just doing training flights, right? You training new pilots. <laughs> yeah, That's what around. it says. That's what it says right here. Yep, just flying yep. around, but I don't remember hitting any space junk or nothing. Hmm. I think we might have went through one of them space clouds or something. That's probably where it got picked <laughs> up on. Okay. What's the removal procedure for that? Oh, there's, there's none. Um, let me, I'll, I'll come back. Uh, I'm gonna recal. I'm gonna calibrate my scanner again, and then just, I'll just come back. Maybe I can walk, come inside, and look around, if it's still picking it up. You know. Right? Is it dangerous? Do we need to be worried about this? No, you're fine. I mean, how many spike drives have you done in the last uh, five or six days? Maybe. Nine? Yeah, it's no more dangerous than that. So you, you're fine. <laughs> All right. Well, ten four, good buddy. All right. Well, okay. All right, guys. We need to hide this body. Where the hell do we put it? <laughs> we put it in the van. We have perfectly good smuggling <laughs> in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Jim's got like Jim pops his peg leg off and takes the multi like because uh, I use my remaining uh, I forget what they're called in the system but action point hustle <clears throat> hustle, hustle point. point that's what it was I use my hustle point to put one of those uh, every tool type deals in it I forget what it's called meta tool that's what it yep. is meta tool so he's gonna pull out his his peg leg <clears throat> get a little meta tool and a little tiny Phillips pops out of the end of it and he starts unscrewing the van <laughs> <laughs> a Swiss Army peg leg. <laughs> Big Montana right. comes from the back. He's he's uh, eating some space chip. Jim, what? We, are we collecting bodies now? What are we doing here, Jim? No, that that's part of the job we had to go do. They want this body for some reason. I don't know what. You only got one cryopod. You're trying to you, you're trying to well, sell we, that though. You can't <coughs> can't just put it in the cryopod. No, we sold the cryopod. You did. Yeah. They done told us last time. Yeah, they done told us last time they'd settle up with us for, uh, what was it, 34. Yeah, I think you're misremembering there, Jim. I don't think your memory's right. <laughs> uh, that's what we said I thought we, at the end of the session last time. I thought we had, we got back on the horn with those guys and talked no, to them. No, they had to, the he had to get approval. He couldn't go above 20,000. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, we plan on selling it, man. <laughs> and this body we pulled out of tomb, and you know, it looked like it'd been there a real long time, and it still looks pretty good. So I, I think it, it don't smell reason. nothing. It actually, smells pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Pretty good, I tell you, not bad. So we just use her as air freshener for now, <laughs> and she ain't seeming to be decaying none. No. So we'll just make your air freshener. Are you gonna put? Oh well, put her up in the vent. You put her up in the in the duct near the vent. So when it when the <laughs> air blows out, it just pass over and then. Yeah, exactly. It carries it so, along like an air freshener, like one of those dangly green trees. This yeah. is gonna be my second character to be stolen <laughs> by Jawas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. Rope tied to her, so the Jawas <coughs> don't take her too deep. Yeah, I can't. I, well, Jim, I can't argue with that logic. I'm telling you. It's sound playing, I tell you. Now help me stuff this girl up in here. 
<laughs> I reckon I will. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a message. One sec. <laughs> FBI agent. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what? All right, and so yeah, put her up there. Um, you know, they're still bringing in a couple a couple more ships into the carrier as they they park in this big like parking deck taking out uh, these data packs or whatever. Um, I'm, gonna, uh, go I'm actually going to change and then just start emptying out the vehicles of all the crap that's on them. All the ammunition casings, the fact mm -hmm. they're covered in, you know, swamp mud and shit everywhere and just washing them down and stuff. Yep. <laughs> no, just basic maintenance. That, Jim's going to grab a stack of license plates out of the bed of the pickup truck mm -hmm. and start screwing them down to the floorboard to, you know, like make a like a eight license plate batch of the floor in the floorboard. <laughs> Right. I'm going to look under the vehicles and everything. Did anything come with us as we came back onto the ship? Oh, that sounds like a check right there. Oh, shit. One of them little mud people came with us. <laughs> he's like wrapped around the drive shaft. He's just... Yeah, he's just... What was he? <laughs> licking the mufflers and stuff? <laughs> the slugs. They were, they were slugs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they were everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, they licked our hubcap hubcaps clean for a while, and then tried to take all his parts. And Jim got very <laughs> upset about that. <laughs> uh, notice, notice. Okay, I'm colorblind. That doesn't help. Uh, eight. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, there's none, none of those slugs or anything. Uh, most of it is fairly clean, except for there's a little bit of swamp mud on there because you drove back. But yeah. some of the some of the uh, sections of the truck are fairly clean. Okay, and it doesn't look like it did anything adverse to the vehicles or anything. No. Okay. No, it was Jim just the rain that when it hit, it burned. Uh, it was burning some of the paint off. Yeah, Jim's okay. got a couple rattle cans out, and he's touching up yeah. all the spots. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm in short sandals, just cleaning it up like it's a summer day. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he's also going to go in and like fully fix his truck because I remember if it got if I remember right it got struck by lightning and me and uh, Obi put a bandaid on it to keep us going. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna he's gonna fully fix that. Yeah, when find, when find the maintenance that took out. <laughs> yeah, find whatever that took out. I think it was the coil out. pack or something. Yeah. Yep. Move the coil pack out. Yep. What are you gonna do, Betty? Um. I'm curious to see what those uh, robot things are doing to the computers on the, all the other ships. I'm worried that they might look at travel logs and stuff like that, but I don't know how I would know that unless I was Obi. So... <laughs> but you are Obi in spirit. Uh, so, I mean, um, so... Like, what are you trying to do specifically? I'm just trying to figure out, like, what the... Um, those little robots are doing, like with the computers. I, I know I can't do any like scans or anything, but um, oh fuck, I don't know. I'll, I'll just keep my head out of the out of the peephole and just yeah. Watch so you're just watching to see what they do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want someone to open up the box, and inside one of the control boxes is just a human brain <laughs> sitting in there, and that's how their drones work, <laughs> right? <coughs> okay. So about uh, thirty minutes pass, and uh, you hear somebody walking up the gangplank up to the ship, and kind of knocks. I don't know. I'm I'm assuming the door would be open. I don't know if the door would be closed. Um. I mean, we landed and everything. We probably let it down, and get some fresh air in. Yeah. So they kind of like tap. Yep, back again. Got my scanner recalibrated, so uh, let's just take a look. Right, let's see what the hell this kind of gumption shit is. Yeah, he starts messing around with it. He's like, oh, no, I'm picking it up. And he walks, he keeps like messing with some knobs, and then he walks over to, uh, to you, Jim, and then just starts doing this, and it starts going off. What the fuck? Hmm. You, did you pick up anything... Uh, you wouldn't have picked up anything. 
you got any strange, uh, I don't know, uh, appendages, uh, maybe an artificial appendix or something? Fact if I know, I don't remember having nothing. I got it. Got me an implant up in my head. Oh, no, no, it's coming from your your one of your pockets. It goes like to the your like side pocket. Oh, Jim, uh, you mean? You mean hanging out, out with him? Uh, mean hanging out with them working girls again, peg leg? Fact if I know, he's gonna like reach in the pocket. The guy's scanning and like see what's in there. So you reach in the pocket, you realize you have that uh, black crystal in your pocket. Mm. Is it still black? It's it's so like he's got to reach into his back suit underneath it, reach into his like his overalls pocket. Yeah. So he's gonna hang on. God damn! He's gonna get both arms up in his jumpsuit, pop palm the crystal to one hand, yep. <laughs> and put it in his other pocket, and then bring his hand back out. I don't know. There's some kind of. I don't know. He's going to hold his hand up in front of the sensor now. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's give this guy a roll. I got some he, black he, shit he, that keeps coming up on the vents in the front. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I got some of it on me. You yeah, he hits the scanner a couple times. like, hmm, wonder... Yeah, let me go. Okay, maybe it's that. Yeah, where is that at? And he walks yeah, up in the cockpit, and he he shows him the way. Yeah, he starts walking over there, <clears throat> looking around. Yeah, while he's doing that, Jim's gonna take the crystal, <laughs> <laughs> just like toss it into one of the vents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk with him to see where the black stuff is because I actually want to know. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, so um. Uh, yeah so on the it's it hasn't grown any so if you were to look uh, so if you see my picture here mm -hmm. uh, there's your seat right mm -hmm. yep seat right here Yep. So, at like the top, where that fuzz is, is just where it's at. So, so this, would, steering wheel. this would be all the controls, yeah, where the steering wheel would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it's like just right there. He's like, he gets out like a little glove. He, he reaches into his pocket, <coughs> grabs it with his hand, like drops it like in the little dish, and screws it on. Yeah, maybe. And it's like, hmm. Yeah, that's picking it up. showed up while we were out there in space. You know, just tooling around, all of a sudden that shit just grew out of the fucking vents on the dash. Might have come from those damn space chips, Montana. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of chips are you eat? <laughs> when he removed that uh, growth, did it appear to die when he removed it? Or does it seem to still be okay? And it's, it's it just grew back again, what he removed? Yeah, it grows right back. It doesn't get any bigger, alive. it just grows right back. And the thing he took still alive. It seems to be. Yeah, he's got it like in a little dish. Yeah, this is definitely picking up Rooney. So uh, that's probably it. Let me uh, let me go find out if they want to quarantine your ship or not. So I'll be right back. And he pockets the thing and he he starts punching in some numbers and he leaves. How far along the console does this go? All the way, all the way to the end. There's like a strip of it. I'm going to go to the end and see if I can see if it's coming from inside of anywhere, any cracks or anything. Or if it's it seems to be there. like growing like right on top of it. Yeah, I'm picturing it like if in your car, you know, you got the, the windshield yeah. bent along the top. That's where I'm picturing it. It's like growing along that. Maybe if we grab <clears throat> all of it at one time and move it. <laughs> it has to come from somewhere. <laughs> uh, where's your... Uh... Where's your welding gun, peg leg? Let's let's give it a go. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna pop off his peg leg again, push a couple little buttons on it, and a little blowtorch is gonna poke out, and he's gonna try and burn the stuff off a little bit. Yeah, it like burns it. Like, you just it goes away. You burn it right off. Like does you char come... a little bit of the metal, it turns a little bit black. But does it come back after you? Burn Thirty it? seconds later, it starts to grow back <laughs> yeah. again. 
Can you I see where it's growing back working. from? <laughs> it seems to just grow back from like right on top of it, like just poof. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. I don't know what the well, hell. That kind of curiosity. Yeah, um, bullshit point. Let's take apart the console and see if we can see anything inside it. <laughs> I done jammed my noggin up in there. I couldn't see nothing earlier. I'll go what ahead and take the main panel off, though, when he start, gets out of Phillips and, like, takes, like, four <laughs> screws out and just lifts off the whole, the whole like, console. Like, you, as he pulls it up, like, all the wires and shit behind are exposed. Mm -hmm. You see anything behind it? Nope. Nothing. <laughs> and he drops it back down. Thunk, thunk, thunk. He puts now, the is back this in. part up here necessary? Can we replace it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's like a fascia panel I can take off. He's going to look around and see if he can like unbolt like the, the trim that's around that part of the console. Yeah, okay. So yeah, if, if he can unbolt it, he'll start taking that apart and like pull that fascia panel off and just kind of hold it up and take a look at it. Yeah, mm. it's just growing just on top of it. There's nothing underneath. Well, it looks like we need a new fascia panel. Okay, well, let's just throw this one out. Yeah, let's take, let's start walking out the back of the ship. <laughs> like, we're up on, like, like we're inside this ship, right? And it's, it's like a big docking bay and, like, I imagine, like, multiple levels. Yeah. Just kind of toss it off the edge. <laughs> yeah, we're just going <laughs> to... You take one side, I'll take the other. <laughs> you throw it and it just kind of, like, spins in the air because there's no gravity. It just... Yeet! <laughs> that guy comes back he was like yeah we done figured out we solved the problem man <laughs> yeah he, com he comes back uh, clomp 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 up the up the uh, gang plank hey man I done figured out our problem we just need a new fascia panel I pulled it right off here it goes floating around Okay, uh, yeah, we're worried about what direction did you chuck that? He's going to point at it as it like, slowly like Yeah, he looks up and, and he can see it away. floating. <laughs> in, in oh, shit. <coughs> he just runs. Whole ship is quarantined now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a load off my mind, I tell you what. Yeah, good work, Pig Lake. That's that's good enough. <laughs> yeah, it's a solid plan. Yeah, what, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <coughs> At least that's so, one less infestation to worry about. Now, if we could only treat the Jawas the same way. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the uh, another one of the guys comes back. This is the medical person who you'd spoken to about the cryopod. Ah, mm. oh, yes. He says, uh, yeah, I talked to the acquisitions officer. They said that uh, 15,000 was as high as they were going to go. Oh, 50, you said 20 earlier. I said that we didn't have a, they don't have approval for higher than 20. But uh, he talked to higher up and they went, ran the numbers on your cryopod. That's as much as they would offer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, what do you fellers think? He's going to turn around to both of you. Mind the fact you're not fellers, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, 15 is 15, and it's not like we have any other use for it at the moment. It is a good chunk of change. Yeah, it's a good payday. We're going we're gonna to need to put some of that away for, our, for Obi here in his bloody mech suit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Obi needs an upgrade. Not to mention what we're going to have to pay for ammunition. Oh, we got, we got ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the armory, it's completely drained out from all the <laughs> ammunition he fired. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Metal I, better, I hope we didn't fire $400,000 worth of ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how expensive it is? Uh, well, they were gold rounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Diamond gold tip, traces. gold rounds, yeah. <laughs> there were AP, AP HEI rounds. <laughs> Those were so much fun. Well, I think we'll have to take that deal. And here, Montana, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'd sell it somewhere else. Them damn cheapskates. 
And we'll have, would you be interested in Montana? You know more about the moving business than I do. Uh, I might cryo pod. I might be. Hold on. He looks down his data pad. Oh, sorry. No, I got to take this. Uh, looks like I got a lead on picking up another uh, another ship or something. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. My buddy, my, my, my spiritualist is giving me a quick text. He, apparently he's got the lead on a new, on another ship that uh, apparently I'll take the charge of the loan or something, but hold on, let I go take this. And he walks in back in the back room. According to the stars, he will have a new ship soon. Well, maybe we'll have to think about it. We got a long trip to go. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll holler at you if we decide to Go ahead and take you that deal. All right. So he leaves. Uh, Betty, the only thing you notice is that uh, obviously none of these people, you know, nobody flew in any of these little small ships or anything. Okay. Um, they just took data out and they just ran like some scan. Look, you know, they, they're just do, doing the normal like maintenance stuff after it gets back in and everything. Okay. I was just worried it might have been like Peace Corps kind of people roaming around. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back to the bridge and see if anything's on the console now that we've removed part of it. Is Did you put that piece on there? No, we threw it out. Okay, so it's just a blank. It's just, no, there's nothing there. Okay. You're muted. There's probably just a bunch of exposed wires along the top yeah, now. Yeah, there's nothing growing <laughs> on there right now. How neat's the wire management? <laughs> oh, it's it's a mess. It's fucking like rat's nest. It's just like all over each other. Like if you took all of your wires and just like bundled them up in a ball, went like this a bunch of times and then put it together, <laughs> that's what it is. Oh, the Jawa, is the Jawa nests in there? <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a, there's a big old <clears throat> pile of torn up paper <clears throat> where Jawa's been sleeping. <laughs> Uh, so Betty, you notice, uh, that there is a group, there's like four or five of these guys now. They've got like equipment and stuff. Uh, there's two of them wearing back backpacks. Um, and they've got back suits on and they're headed directly for the ship, for your ship. Uh, guys, I'm not sure if they come for us or for that, uh, that floating bit of junk, which isn't far from here. Uh, <clears throat> we got some baddies coming. Well, that's interesting. Lock the door and piss on the handle. I mean, there's, there's not a lot we can do. <clears throat> We're kind of up in a super carrier with a, you know, a large number of motherfuckers that aren't us. <laughs> True. Yeah. There's, there's really nowhere to run. We're all up inside their cargo hold, basically, and the door's shut. Is there any evidence on the vehicles or on the ship that we were on a swamp planet? Uh, if you cleaned all the uh, the F-150 and, and the uh, Warthog, the Warthog yeah. off. That's what uh, we're doing with the sprinkler. Yeah, we washed her out pretty good. Yeah. Mm. So who else has the black crystals? Uh, didn't Obi find one and Peg leg found one and somebody else did. I mean Dalton. Mm -hmm. No, nope, Dalton was stuck <laughs> in the uh, uh I can find it. Black crystal. I thought we only had one. I thought the crystal. No, you found one. three of them. Three. Oh, did we? Yeah. <clears throat> did I grab one? It sounds like Ada OB yeah. and Dalton. Oh, okay. I was way off then. Peg leg, how'd yeah. you end up with one? I don't know. <laughs> she just showed it in my pocket. <laughs> Dalton placed it there to fuck with him. Yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. So uh, Obi's got one and Ada's got one. Oh, shit. So you hear uh, banging on the gangplank as uh, there's a group outside. Jim's like, going to yeah. Yeah, oh, saunter on down. <clears throat> I take Obi's crystal. Kind of go out to meet him before they get too far in, you know. Oh, how to do? What can we do for you? Yeah, this this guy's got like a huge like. You he's got like two hands on it. It's got like a huge uh, disc, and it goes. It makes this weird squelching noise. He's like. 
like, yep, we detect Roni on your vehicle and in, inside your vehicle here. Yep. Well, I thought we got rid of it. We got through that chunk of shit out there. Uh, you know? Still picking it up on your ship. What this is, is that of, stuff? I don't know. They don't tell us anything. They just know if it's if it's here, we need to secure it. And if we can't locate it, we'll just take the whole ship if we have to, and then just tear it apart and find it. <clears throat> All right, well. well. There you go. I, I just go well. <laughs> Hang on one second. The minute I hear them, I'm crawling out the top patch where the gun turret is. <laughs> with my with all three crystals. <laughs> why why don't you just go down here? So we'll start with the bottom and work our way up. Go down in the uh we got a lower hold <coughs> we use for some smaller items. Okay. I'll show yeah. you. He's gonna take him down to where the smuggler's hold is. And just okay. Because that's in the very belly of the ship. We'll just start down here and work our way up. See if you pick up anything like a hot spot or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they go down there. There's like two of these guys with backpacks and these huge, <laughs> like, uh, look like metal detectors, but they got like a massive disc at the, the bottom and they're just, nothing's going off. They're looking around. Yeah. This like, one guy's um, got a data pad. He's like, uh, Peg, let's see. Uh, Big Mama, is that is that what your ship goes by? No, uh, Big Bertha. Really? Yep, Bertha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got Big Mama on here, so it's probably just some kind of um, probably a clerical error. Yeah, I'll have to check. I'll, I'll I'll probably just check on that. Yeah, if there was a way we could update that, that that'd be good. Yeah. Uh, and I would like I would walk over to Obi and be like, Hey, are you able to make like a I don't know a space <laughs> Google search on this Rutronium? <laughs> yes, he will. Um, yeah, like sure, we I can take down, care of that for you. <laughs> when we went down to the hold, too, like you got to pull like a grate off to get to the ladder. Well, he's only going to pull like the smallest grate off to get to the ladder. So, like, these guys got to squeeze through a little ass yeah, yeah, backpacks they're... and shit, like making it go slow for him, you know? Oh, yeah. He could pull off more panels and make it easier, but <laughs> he's just going to pull off the one so it kind of stalls for time a little bit. Obi says he, he, um, he doesn't. He says he thinks it's associated with Ethereum. Ethereum is what Sindum. Uh, it's the main element uh, that everything on Sindum is built from, from the ships to the people, well, the 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 Probetheans, the ones who who live there. But from the ships to the people to the the dirt <coughs> itself. And the whole thing with Sindum is that they're the, they're losing that element, and that's why it's dying. Mm -hmm. So that's he doesn't know what this runium or rotrunium is, but it may be associated with this. Yeah. Have I managed to float my way back up to the panel we tore off yet? <laughs> oh, are you taking off with everything? Yeah, I took off with everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're floating up there. These guys are just like clunking around, knocking shit over, trying to like. Yeah, let me do. Uh, okay, so it's a big Bertha, huh? Yep, big Bertha. Yep. So, uh, who are you training? To, who, who's doing the training flights? Well, that'd, that'd be a uh, big Montana. He's taking a phone call over in the back room, though. There's a lot of bigs around here. That that fellow was doing the training flights. <laughs> yeah, he's one hell of a pilot, man. He really showed me a couple things or two. Mm. <coughs> So when did you graduate from the academy? I didn't. I was not a conventional student, I would say. More of an accidental student. Mm. You see, I uh, I went to the doctor one time to get this here, you know, fixed. And he's just going to, like, gesture to his peg leg. <clears throat> and, well, you see, I ended up with this here chip plant in my head. And he's going to, like, turn his head. And there's, like, a scar <laughs> on, on the back of his head. Yeah. And, you know, after that, I kind of knew how to fly a little bit. So it, it, here I am. I would call that a bullshit story, but that's just too crazy, and that has to be true. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a little bit of a disappointment waking up and not having a prosthetic <laughs> leg like I was hoping. 
I have to tell you. <laughs> well, so, I'm gonna uh, go get the next room all ready for you. And he's gonna climb back up the ladder and <clears throat> just walk to one of the armories, get on his little thingy with Ada. Hey, it, it seemed like you were doing something. Did you figure something out? Just take them through everywhere. <laughs> Ten four. <laughs> So that, that one guy stops and he's like on his communicator talking and he's messing with his data pad like, yeah, can you give me some, you know, what's the deal with these guys? I'm getting big Bertha and it's coming up big mama and uh, I'm getting Rooney kits and uh, and then he says, oh, okay. All right. Uh, all right. That's enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And he joins the rest of the group. I'm continuingly trying to navigate now that I have the panel again <laughs> back towards the ship without a vac suit or anything on. <laughs> so he he's like, "Okay, guys, let's go. It's it's we're done. Sorry to bother you. Uh, what was your name again? Peg like Jim. Peg like Jim. Sorry, a re real well, real sorry to bother oh, all, all of good. you." We didn't know you were associated with the Linux project, so. Um, oh, that's, that's understandable. Yeah, we had no idea. We're we're really really <laughs> sorry. Um, you know, what? just. I mean, if there's a you know, if you want to say nice things about us, we'd really appreciate it. Oh, it's, I, I don't want to get reassigned. Folk. Not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he ushers these guys out of here. They just unass the area and leave. I the Mac. They don't. They think we're with Linux. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the ship uh, they comes over the uh, the, the main uh, speaker that you know they're getting ready to go through interdimensional space. They're going to spike <laughs> the uh, takes it leaves. You know, five seconds later, and you hear uh, we are now in uh, the golden system. Uh, which is got to load up my sectors <laughs> near Sindoom. When when Ada gets back to the ship, Jim's going to tell her to leave the console panel behind and just keep the crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet, gone. <laughs> she floats back in. I don't need no funky shit growing on my ship. <laughs> So you guys are in the golden system now. And we wanted to fix OB on Sindoom. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> um, and we knew where to do that, correct? Well, he's from uh, Sindoom, so I mean, he's from he's not from the walled city, but outside the walled city. Okay. Yeah, Since he's not here, you could... Yeah, you might be able to, you know, you, I don't know if we want to drop him off or you guys just want to go somewhere else and then come back. Maybe drop him off, come back and get him. Yeah, we'll leave him a, a day surgery or whatever. They'll figure him out. Yeah, what, what's the worst that could happen, leaving him we here can, alone? On it Sunday? means it's a big medical place. They'll probably want the cryopod for more money than just these, these jerk-offs wanted for it. So we'll just drop him off leave. at the medical place with the cryopod, like, just next to him on the on the... On the this payment written bridge, on the side, you know? yeah. <laughs> so he has something to pay with. <laughs> yeah. So Obi directs you to go to the Nameless Borough because that's sort of where he's from. And uh, you land in. So you see all these as you're flying down. So you leave the carrier um, outside of like Sindoom space because. <laughs> um, the, the, the carrier is not going to take you all the way uh, into Sindhu, into the, the planet. Yeah. So you guys drop off and you go in. So as you're flying, you know, as you're entering the atmosphere and all that good stuff, you see this enormous walled city. It's like miles. The wall is like miles in the air. Um, there's all this shit around it, like surrounding it. Um, different like satellites and all kinds of like ships 
um, moving around, you get like 15 different pings about the distance you are from the walled city and to <clears throat> keep your distance and deadly force uh, is authorized and blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, and as you got a floating titty bar. <laughs> and as you go through the clouds, you see that the, the walled city goes all the way down to the surface and then the rest of the planet, you can't see so you know the huge walls you can't see inside the walled city mm. but outside is just it's all dead it's like you know brown black the rock it's just there's nothing like tatooine surface <clears throat> yeah um and then there are these scattered settlements and lots of smoke a lot of smelting machines um a lot of factories and as you're flying over, you notice there's one tree that you, because it's green, it's so obvious, like outside the city, that's just like sitting there. Um, they take you, you see a bunch of different landing pads. The one that they send you to is way out of the way. It's like by itself. Um, and as you land, you can see that there are all these different uh, people showing up. Um, it's got like there's like two walls on either side so as you kind of land there's like it's like two it's like open like this mm -hmm. and they've got these huge cannons that they're pointed down at the ship obi says that um, anything they deem sketchy this is where they have them land in case something happens <laughs> so he says i'll just go out i'll just walk out and, and um Make sure it's all right. All right. Jim will be like by the back door ramp with him. He pushes the button, lower the ramp down. <laughs> well, how'd yeah. it do? <laughs> yeah, you can see like four guys. Like, uh, they're not wearing uniforms. They just kind of like regular outfits, regular, not even jumpsuits, just regular clothes. Got laser rifles, and one guy's walking up, an older fella. And uh, he's got a, you know, a weapon. He sees Obi. He still does not put his weapon down, and as Oben, Obi Frankenstein walks to him, um, he kind of grabs him, and Obi says something to him, and he they have a quick conversation. He's like, he looks relieved. He's like, oh, okay, okay. Maybe we should um, pull the warhead stickers off the side of the <laughs> off the side of the ship. <laughs> so are you gonna leave uh, leave the cryopod here or? Yeah, yeah. Obi, we're gonna leave you this here crowd pod so you got some <laughs> way to pay for your uh, surgery. <laughs> so yeah, you roll out the cryopod, leave it on the on the landing strip, leave it on it. a trolley, yeah, yep, and take <laughs> off. G give us a ring when you're all better. Deuces. <laughs> yeah, and as you fly away, you can realize there's like 25 dudes with weapons, like with surrounding your your vehicle as you had landed. J Jim will go ahead and transfer him 500 credits too. He's such a benevolent leader. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see, where did you were supposed to go next? We were supposed to go to the Hume system, I believe. Lion's Paw. Yeah. Yeah. And that was around, I don't remember the name of the place. <laughs> well, uh, Fotokas? That sounds right. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, it's Fotokas. I gotta yep. some laundry real quick. One second. Okay. Uh -oh. That's okay. I'll fly till you get back. <laughs> it's all right. We can take a quick five minute break right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the ship crashed and everyone died. <laughs> the end. <sighs> uh, I think we might have a lead on getting us a nicer ship, though. Yeah. Big Montana's got a call. That's what it sounded <laughs> like. <laughs> That's what we just have to steal one. <laughs> Depending on what Big Montana rustles up, we might have to renegotiate our, uh, our lease. <laughs> or not our lease, but our... Uh, Mortgage. 
I have to trade up. We gotta take the eighty-eight with us, though. It, the eighty-eight has to come with us, of course. Yeah. I I made that thing so op. <laughs> <laughs> just used the regular laser gun stats. Just made it an eighty-eight just for. Oh no, the the eighty-eight is completely custom. <laughs> ah. <laughs> when did we? Um, when did we get a pot of Linux? What What was that all about? I think that was the curator saving our ass. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, I think the, that's what that is. Jim the, needs to ask her about it next time we talk to her. Yeah. I don't know why she needed to say why ass. I had the entire thing covered. <laughs> floating <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, the 88 is 2d6 damage, and it automatically ignores 10 armor. Nice. And it explodes. Right. <coughs> There was actually a, like a an in depth look at like the way that laser weapons and whatnot were were done in Star Wars, and they actually decided that in Star Wars the projectile weapons are actually far more powerful than the laser weapons are in Star Wars. Yeah, well, I mean, just alone on the speed of the projectile. Mm-hmm. I think they use something called Tabana gas, which is hyper accelerated inside, and then it ignited with a photon charge power pack or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's not actually a laser. It's actually closer to a bad plasma. <laughs> it moves slow as shit. The thing is, <coughs> if you got a wide enough area, that gets dispersed real bad. And when you, when you get hit by a projectile, that velocity and all that, all that shit's transferred. <laughs> There's <That's>, impact. <laughs> There's impact and not to mention... You ever notice in Star Wars, no one ever has a fully automatic weapon or a machine gun or anything? <laughs> hmm, automatic weapon fire. Effective. Well, the clones do in the... Yeah, they have the... Um, yeah, like, they yeah they the big down. clone assault rifles are. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's like it. And let's be honest, the clones were a lot better than anything else they Well, had. yeah. They, they were designed to be better. <laughs> the The stormtroopers were designed to be shitty on purpose almost because they they wanted a more of a shock and awe force than a force that actually kills things yeah, the stormtroopers were never that effective no no but they were meant more to just be uh, a looming threat they didn't have to be good <laughs> their weapons didn't even have optics or anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have no sights <laughs> all right so um it was the Meet the Zabrak at the Lion's Paw and tell Inhuman. him something. What I have the missing piece? We have something. I ask the same question to myself every time I come here. I thought I wrote that down somewhere, but I'm not finding it. I'm sure we all wrote it down and we're like, we're going to need to remember this. And now yeah, we've all lost I have a, it. Yeah, I have a missing piece. <coughs> uh, this is where we discover the crystals are worthless and it was that fairy stuff growing on the console no. that we needed. No, cause the crystal went beepity beepity when... Uh... No, the moon, yeah, the moon was Theno. I got this wrong. In the drift system. Theno in the... Okay. Photokus was the uh, other plant from the other games. Oh. Yeah, well, and the the thing with the lion's paw, that was from a different <coughs> ordeal. That was the uh, other guys that if we wanted to keep working with them, that's what we told them. The, yeah. yeah, that's what they told you. It was that message. Yeah, that got. I thought Serene's body was for a different group. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have Serene's body. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. yeah, we still got to go drop here. that off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me look to see where that's supposed to go. <laughs> I mean, we can just keep her as an eternal air freshener, but we, yeah, we it could. Paid a lot more if we. Uh, a lovely just, bellflower smell. We could just take her in, get her, get her exchanged for some monies, and buy some little green trees. <laughs> I'm waiting for the ship to be attacked by a bunch of flying, angry space bellflowers. Now, trying to get her body back. Yeah, just ripping the ship to pieces. Like, oh my god! <laughs> a buddy Chase made a, you know, <coughs> like those little green tree air fresheners. 
when we were in high school in shop class, he cut out a little sheet metal man, like it was just like an gingerbread style sheet metal man, and then he folded his arms over, and then hung it on his his green tree and made himself a tree hugger. Oh, <laughs> damn hippies! All right, retrieve body. Yeah, hum system. Okay. Which planet was it? Or is just the system we had to be in? <laughs> we know the system, not the planet. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's Ermac. Ermac, okay. okay. Oh, hell, he's going to use green magic on us and we're going to get fucked up. Well, I mean, it's Ermac, and that means that they refuse to use Linux. <laughs> no, Ermac from Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's going to use green magic on us and we're going to get fucked up. <laughs> He's going to rip our arms off. <laughs> temperature, temperate. This place should be lovely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tech level three. That's not bad. Yeah. This, this, isn't, this isn't a system that we are wanted in at the current moment. Yes. You are <laughs> currently in like Syndrome's Sid, quadrant. So you're yeah, not we're in, fine here. You're not yeah, in UPM, UPM territory. Like not sure why. <laughs> I don't know. Just stay either in the red can... system and all the black and we're good to go. Yeah, <laughs> e either we can just consistently avoid the UPM for like ever or we might want to figure out some way to get back in their good graces. <laughs> or we could convince Sindoom to invade the UPM and that way it's all Sindoom and we don't have to worry about the option. UPM. <laughs> One second. Yeah. Martin problems require final solutions. <laughs> We also gotta go see if we can find some pre-tech at some point. My screen has a smudge and it is right over Brendan's nose right now. <laughs> and it looks like he's got this brown thing on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been brown nosing Peter again? Oh um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just shit. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> he, he was brown nosing for an extra badonk donk. <laughs> <laughs> So as soon as you, uh, let's see, you'd have to spike. You're in golden. Just wants to get to um, drift. Uh, Hume, I believe. Hume, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you spike once yep. into the meta-dimensional space. Boom, you're gone. You're there. You enter the hum system. Heading for uh, uh, you're quickly pinged uh, to go to Ermac. Um, there's a specific location that shows up. Okay. Uh, as your ship flies through the uh, atmosphere and breaks through the clouds, uh, there's like a patch of like green. There's like a little lake, uh, blue water. Um, <clears throat> you land. Uh, there's doesn't look like there's no obvious buildings here. It's like a clearing, and then there's like a lake on one side with some you know, pine trees. Yeah. Jim will try and like buzz the lake and like fly low and make like a wake as we, we go in the land. Kind of just dragging the butt of the ship in the water a little bit to make a big ass wake. <laughs> uh, you land. Um, you see, like two individuals come out of the tree, out of the wood line. Um, they are not armed. They're not wearing vac suits either. They're just they have like just regular clothes, coats, pants, boots. Uh, it's probably oh, why, I hope that was good. Was there like twenty degrees Celsius out? That's good that temperature, right, cold. Brendan? Yeah, that's pretty chill. Yeah. yeah, there we go. See, got it right. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> they kind of wave to you as you are, you know, have, are you you're, as you're in the ship. Jim's gonna push a button on the uh, the console and like activate the outside ship PA uh, speakers. Hey, you all are like normal people, right? And this air is safe to breathe. Yeah. Okay. I'm <clears throat> retrieving the body from the vent. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give a Jawa hand. Yeah. Took her shoe. <laughs> <coughs> All right. 
So uh, he'll, he'll lower the back door and. So yeah, as they get closer, um, one's got like five o'clock shadow, kind of balding. The other guy's like, he's wearing like a, just a knit cap. They, uh, nothing other than I mean they look humanoid, so there's nothing special about them. Uh, they're clearly not armed. Uh, the one balding guy just comes up to you and says, uh, on behalf of um, the Liberator, I thank you for your uh, your work. Do you, were you man, did you manage to retrieve the body? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're hauling her out right now. Start kicking yeah. the corpse down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't nothing but a thing, you know. No big deal. Well, it was a bit of hard yucca, but, you know, we're, we're going to get paid. Well, I mean, nobody died this time. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> this one looks pretty dead to me. I'm just holding, <laughs> looking down at the body. <laughs> yeah. I think... She was already dead, though. So the, the other guy with the cap walks up and has, he's, he's set the body out there. He looks at it and he kind of takes a data pad out and he kind of like scans over it. He messes with it. Looks like this is it. And uh, they just kind of stand and then they turn and look to the wood line and like out of the clouds, like out of thin air, a spinning top ship appears. Uh -oh. Um, it's like an, it's like, uh, looks like, uh, it's a flying bellflower. <laughs> <laughs> like a Martian type spinning top. It ship? looks like this. Oh. And oh. one side spins one way and the bottom side spins the opposite way. Oh, that you wish. I have jumped down guys. The aliens are coming for us. <laughs> so they stand there. They just. <laughs> Uh, it just it just appeared, and it comes down and lands like right inside the wood line. Uh, some of the force from it like knocks some of the pine trees, like pushes them over. Uh, it lands, it opens up, a ramp comes out. Uh, an individual, probably, uh, I can't, I don't know in centimeters what six feet is. Comes out, flowing robes, comes walking down. Two pe he's flanked by two other people who are at least um, 220 centimeters tall. They're huge. Whoa. Um, he comes walking out, and, like, he's moving at a very he's, – he's doing a range walk, which is what Josh would know what that is. Uh-oh. He's range walking means he's walking really fast with a purpose. Yep. These other two dudes are huge. They are carrying like these huge kind of weird looking rifles. Well, they're weird looking. Are they with you? <laughs> yes, this is uh, who requested the uh, the body. The hell do you don't want a body for anyway? I ain't never seen anybody pay so much for a corpse. Uh, the As the one guy gets closer, uh, uh, yeah, it's daylight. So give me a um, notice check. Everybody gets a notice check. Oh, good heavens. Okay. Or D6 is right. Uh, two D6s. Yeah. Oh, not not bad. Man. That's a nine. A four. That's a ten. That's ten for GM. Okay, so ten and <laughs> eighty got a nine. Yeah. So eighty, you notice that. Ada and Jim both notice as this person walks by, they as they put down their hood, they have pointy ears. Uh, that's not hard to see, but their eyes are like black, solid black color. Uh, Jim, you also notice that it's kind of sunny out and there's no shadow. This guy does not cast a shadow. Oh, hey, it's a spook! And Jim's and he gonna jump in the reaches, back of his truck. <laughs> he reaches down and like slowly like puts a hand on the body and as he does like his robe comes up and you can see his skin is fairly pale and almost gray and yeah. he just kind of steps away from the body as he touches it the two other figures are huge their faces are like greenish 
gray and they got huge uh tusks and they're orcs mm. yeah, jim's like hiding in the back of his pickup truck he's like peering over the edge of the trail <laughs> like fucking spook <laughs> So with very ca- they very cautiously pick up the body. They unroll like some kind of like uh, linen thing, some kind of carpet, and slowly put the body on and, and begin to handle it. And they push, they pick it up, and then let it go, and it floats. And they slowly lead it out of the you know back towards their ship. She one of yours. Uh, the uh, the elf looks at you. Uh, Yes, she was. I thank you for retrieving her body. It was, it, it meant a lot to us that she was returned. She like a mother or grandmother to you guys? She is a hero. Oh. The hell are you? I ain't never seen shit like that. Is there somebody yelling at me in the back there? Yeah, Jim's here, like, stand up a little bit in the back of the truck. Yeah, I ain't never seen shit like you. You look like some kind of fucking weird-ass fucking alien. Well, I guess if we're from another, you're also alien to me, so. Well, yeah, but you have normal motherfuckers here. He's going to point at the two normal guys. (laughs) The orcs? No, the the (laughs) other, the two guys that were talking to us first. Oh, yeah. (laughs) The Italians? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen any of those green boys in a while either. Yes. Are they native around here? No, they're from our world. No. Oh. What world would that be? This one? No. They call it L593. To us, though, it's Alabama. (laughs) Not in Bamer. (laughs) I think Sindhoom refers to it as the plague system. Isn't that one of the ones we're not supposed to go to? Wonder, like, some kind of lockdown on that there system? Uh, Out of character, yes. In character, my character has no idea. I thought we heard yeah. something about that. <coughs> uh, about that on one of the PSAs. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go to plague. Yeah. Yeah. You'll die. The atmosphere will kill you. Yeah. Immediately. That's what immediate said. death. We should change the name of the place to China. <laughs> Wuhan. <laughs> but plague system ain't that where everybody dies? Those are sin doom lies. Huh. Oh, so it's like nice there and shit. Yeah, we have our we have our problems. Hmm. Well, if Other we ever than, need to lay low where people won't want to go, that might be the place to go. Yep, apes run the place, but. What you mean like that? Like monkeys? Yes. God damn! I was new to the uprise. <laughs> <laughs> the uprising was real. <coughs> what a weird planet. It sounds like a fucky place. Probably have some weird saint named Harambe. <laughs> it's the Church of Harambe. <laughs> he reaches uh, into his pocket and he hands Betty, who is closest, he hands you a like a coin. On behalf of the Black Heart Adventuring Company, I thank you. Uh, do we spend this on your planet? What is it? It's a mm. challenge coin, but it's only a two star, so it ain't that great. <laughs> <laughs> It'll bring you good luck. Ah. Oh. Well, uh, thanks. Uh, we're definitely going to need it. <laughs> As the chocolate in the coin starts melting around your fingers. <laughs> now, how about there was a, a manner of, what was it, a 4,500 space books or something? 
He just does this. It has been transferred. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Cool. Well, nice to meet you. You're a weird looking pointy eared man and your two green friends and your two normal friends. Uh, my name is Paris. Paris. Well, I'm, I'm Jim. Paris Navidad. <laughs> Well, well uh, if we're ever in that area, we might jump around and see what it's all about. You'd be welcome. Yep. You need more corpses transport, you just let us know. No, we, we may have other things <coughs> that you could assist us with. Well, don't, don't be uh, shy. Just give us a holler. Yes. Thank you. And he just thanks those other guys and just begins to walk as fast as he can towards the uh, spinning top ship. And then at some point, he just looks like he becomes like mist. And he's gone. And he's like the ramp... Rose, <laughs> raise our ramp. Like. <laughs> the ramp goes up and the ship begins to take <laughs> off again, spinning in opposite directions. And as soon as it clears the trees, it vanishes. Yeah, like as the ramp's closes. The hell... One guy, the one guy in the hat looks at the other guy. Says, Did that freak you out? That freaked me out. Yeah, that, that done freaked us out. I don't know what the fuck they are. I ain't never seen shit like that. I'm glad they're on our side. That's all I'm saying. Right? Them two green fuckers look like they rip your ass in half. Uh mm huh. -hmm. That's definitely pre tech. That's definitely pre scream tech. I bet. Could be. Yeah. I ain't never seen a ship that just spins like that with no thrusters or engines or nothing. Mm -mm. As much nope. as two days ago, I never even left my home system. I can't be phased by anything at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everything's fucky to you, but... <laughs> <laughs> God damn, like, the teeth on those guys! I'm fucking... You buy the whole fucking... whole fucking turkey leg clean off the turkey! <laughs> Well, I'm going back inside to get near the heater. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they'd be in this, like, uh, system, though, knowing that they're enemies of the, of, of the arm um, of the fucking, whatever their name was. A Sindu? Uh, yeah, Sindu, thank you, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. might have been doing operations here. Well, I mean, mm. the plant does seem pretty, uh, uninhabited. I didn't see no fucking cities as we were flying down. No, but some great trails for mudding and, you know, dirt rally work and stuff this, like this, that. This is true. We might have to keep this in mind. We might have to set up an <laughs> off-road park. <laughs> uh, come from all over the systems. <coughs> so the, the, they came on behalf of the Liberator, who is part of the uh, Apias Independence Alliance. Hmm. So Apias is in the golden system. These guys are in hum, so it's obviously a different system. But these guys used to be, uh, at one point, lot, some of the leadership of uh, Apias got kicked out after the war between Sindum and Apias. And Sindum kind of has an influence over Apias now. So basically, they're not welcome in you know their home planet. So this is where they've kind of... This is mm. where they've held up, like Hiding outside out. of, yeah. What did Serene do? What did Serene do when she left? <laughs> what happened after that campaign? <laughs> <laughs> she won a hell crusade, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I hope she did well. <laughs> no. Mm. Well, she died and ended up in fucking third layer of hell. So. <laughs> no, at the end of the campaign, remember her and Mantro switched places. Yep, they did. And he was in the third layer of hell. And his body was in the third <laughs> layer of hell and she switched places with it. Yep. So mm. now it was her body. So if you had passed the check on the tomb, you would have read Mantro on the tomb. <laughs> I'm not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> No, McAfee, I do not want a security scan. <laughs> well, no wonder the ship's flying like ship. We're using 80% of the memory yeah. on the goddamn McAfee. <laughs> 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 
yeah, how far Rams being taken up by fucking trying to search for viruses. <laughs> so you guys can uh, decide what you want to do. Well, I think we, we're going to refuel and then uh, check out the uh, people on that one planet. Yeah, see what those motherfuckers were all about. And probably at some point sleep as well. Yeah, probably take a nap on the way out. <laughs> Maybe we okay. just leave it on cruise control and we just roll on through. <laughs> Because McAfee will then take over if it's on cruise control and you trust that thing. <laughs> well, we always got that there uh, copy of the AI that we could, you know, boot up on a data tab or something and see what, what the hell it wants. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Loading up a strange AI onto the ship's mainframe? I don't know, on like a data tablet, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to need OB for that just in case, you know? <laughs> No, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, we can always plug into the Warhog. <coughs> oh, what would that do? <laughs> Take the gun off it first. <laughs> right. So, uh, are you guys going to head to the other place, or which is in Drift System? Yeah. Gim is in charge. And that seemed like a reasonable plan to you guys. We'll just start heading over there, see what them motherfuckers want. Move to Drift, yeah, sure. yeah. Why not? All right, let's drift our asses on over drift. Okay. I feel like I've been at this place before. Deja vu. Yeah, we have, haven't we, for Magna Prime? Or is that the other campaign when I'm getting it mixed up too? <laughs> Wait, how many campaigns are you in? <laughs> no, I, I, because I watched the other one you guys are in. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys um, have been to Magna Prime, haven't you? Or is it Lucene? I don't remember. Lucene. I think yeah. Athena Th 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 is near Lucene. Yeah. Uh, you might want to hold off because uh, Josh Loomis is firing up his PC right now. Ah. Okay, so we might need to pick up. So you might need to go back again. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just be like, because we were going to take some naps and shit anyway, so we'll just okay. be like at full throttle out in space, just kind of chugging along yeah, in the new direction. Chilling. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Taking no, a quick breather. Shipping everything. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, the one day so, I uh, the yeah, so as you are winding down, what's, so what's everybody doing as they wind down and begin to re relax? <laughs> Jim would be definitely uh, in between napping, working on the, the F-150, getting it all ironed out and some of the dents and scratches fixed. And like, it, when he gets tired, he'll just like lay down across <laughs> the seats and take a nap real quick. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, I'm going to be working on fixing up the warthog, making sure everything's good there, and I'm just falling asleep in the driver's seat trying to start it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably I take the tire chains off of it now that we're not on a small world. Okay. Yeah. I think I'd just be like shaking my head at all of the like with the machine gun and all the parts, how they've like slowly started melting. I'm like, God, <laughs> just keep looking at it and like, can't fix that, can't fix that. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm just going to spend a little bit of time unmounting it, melting it down, and then putting a new one on. <laughs> there you are. You've just fallen asleep on the on a bunch of ammunition right, just, boxes. <laughs> just, yeah. just like cuddling an ammo box like it's a teddy bear. <laughs> Instead of teddies, you've got this rockets everywhere and satchel charges. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to go. <laughs> Don't nobody startle her away. Might lose half the ship. Mm -hmm. You know, just come down from the high of being on mission up for the past day and a half. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Betty takes the opportunity to stuff her bra again with satchel chargers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where to, Dalton. I, I think to. Dalton is still somewhere in the ship looking for the Jawas. <laughs> yeah, take yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to hunt down the infestation. He's like, he's got a a, a Bowie knife in his teeth, and he's like crawling yeah. through the air ducts. <laughs> <laughs> got a little Jawa collar that just goes rotini. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> How many Zawas did we find when we were doing maintenance on the vehicles? <laughs> right. I just keep on hearing random noises from in the comms. I, just, <coughs> I nearly got them. 
and then <laughs> I oh, got fuck. one quarter. I'm surrounded. <laughs> I fell into their punchy sticks. God, one bit me. I don't know if I'm gonna get an infection. <laughs> play welcome to the ship motherfucking it's always just come out like vietnam <laughs> right they're like the Viet Cong up in there <laughs> you know honestly that is pretty accurate the jaw and Viet Cong are pretty much the exact same thing <laughs> yeah so obi you're back on like your uh, your home world with a, a cryopod that you can sell to, to save yourself <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact they replaced his legs with spider legs, so he kind of walk can walk up walls and stuff Ooh. now. <laughs> spider Obi, Spider Obi <laughs> does whatever a Spider Obi does. <laughs> What's that? Uh, can he shoot crazy string out of his ass? <laughs> <laughs> that costs extra. <laughs> You guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. For a second there, my internet connection was cut dropping out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Did you uh, level up to second level? Uh, no, I, I did not. I can do that real quick. Okay. Page 56. Excellent. But yeah, <clears throat> we, we took you back to... Uh, in doom <clears throat> yeah, because you, you had mentioned that uh there, there was a medical place over there somewhere that you could get help at so we dropped you off at your like your home home starport with the cryopod to sell to to save your soul <clears throat> jim Figure also trans out. yeah jim also transferred you 500 credits from his his personal storage so you had a little bit extra money <laughs> yeah jim's such a nice guy <laughs> <laughs> Just don't show him the artwork you did for Jim where he looks literally like a cross between Hitler and Stalin. <laughs> Still it there. Yep. So yeah, as you guys go to um you guys have rested. Mm-hmm. Um Big Montana walk comes out as you guys are like getting the ship ready to spike back to a golden system. Uh, as he shakes the space to re, uh, the space chips off his shirt. Yeah, uh, Jim. Uh, I don't know. I saw one of them Jawas. Yeah. Um, he was down back one of them back halls back there. I saw him, and um, he was writing something on the wall. I don't know what he was wrong, but anyway, I was going to shoo him off, and then he looked at me and vanished. Oh, hell. <laughs> Teleporting I ain't, I ain't never seen him do that before. <laughs> That's a new development. Now, I did. I, 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 I think I was about three bottles in, so maybe I imagined it. That's definitely worth checking out. I mean, that could be a real bad deal going on. Yeah, Jim, you go ahead and get the ship ready. I'm going to go back and check this out. <laughs> I had your phone call, by the way, Montana. <laughs> oh, yeah. Apparently, I'm taking over another, uh, taking over another ship. Uh, my friend, my spiritualist, uh, Mile Thomain, uh, apparently came into a little bit of money and and he came he was left uh, some poor bastard died and uh, he left him his ship which then of course he didn't want so he he went turned around and gave it to me which of course mm -hmm. is still owned by the bank but uh, it's complicated it is was well, it bigger than this one <clears throat> no i don't think so well, if it's bigger, you just let me know. We might have to do some kind of trade deal where we you know, swap out, you know, which mortgage I'm working on. Right. Well, I'll definitely look into that for sure. I, I'll probably make arrangements to meet these, uh, this, these, these fellas. 
whoever owns it, you know, yeah. make a make a a one stop appearance. You gonna need some yeah. backup? No, I don't think so, Betty. I appreciate it though. You know, I do like it when you're backing it up, but I don't think this time. Satchel charge falls down, pant leg. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> By the way, uh, you never you never told me about how much do we still owe you on this here old girl. I don't have those them figures in front of me because uh, I got a my system crashed a few times. I got to update. I got to get back to where I'm at. Of course, uh, back in the shoal system. Um, right. But um, I'll, keep, I'll I'll find out. All I'll right, keep well, you updated, of course. Yeah, you just <clears throat> send us on over a message so we can uh, keep on top of that. I'd hate to get behind on you. Yeah, I'd appreciate uh, the lift. Uh, I'll hang out as long as I can. Right, right. You just let us know if there's anywhere you need us to drop you off on the way. Yeah, no problem. The best part is you've paid him back like eight times over, but he keeps <laughs> upping it every time you see him because you're not taking any accounting in. <laughs> All right, well, away we go. And just click the red button. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm going to go investigate the tower. Enter the metadimensional space two seconds later. You're <laughs> back in the golden system uh, with all the ships. So you see that carrier once again. Um, all sorts of Sindhu's uh, ships are around. You guys make your approach back down to um, the nameless borough at that infamous uh, uh, landing pad again uh, back over all the through the clouds of these uh, all these different smelting factories and uh, the one green tree that sits out there <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll land there and get out of the ship yep yeah okay um there's not a high uh, presence as there was last time there's just a couple guys come out you can feel before you like shut down the ship you can feel like some kind of tractor beam locked onto your ship to keep it there that's good they have good security here yeah Jim's gonna saunter on out what's uh what's this her tractor beam about yeah it's just uh safety precautions no problem Mommy. We were here earlier. Obi was all like, "These guys are okay," and we're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." We just we it's standard, uh, just so nobody comes and takes it. I got you. Well, we got motherfuckers up in there watching. Plus, I okay. don't know if anybody else can figure out how to start the son of a bitch. It's kind of a, a startup process. You yeah, do it looks kind of piecemeal. Yeah, she's special. That's for sure. And you like rub the side of the hull and like. Go to go to like touch a part and it probably falls off. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. The clutch sticks really badly in it. <laughs> no, you just gotta know how to do the, you know the the double pump, Jimmy. I'll have to show you that maneuver. Helps out a lot. Not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry about <laughs> us. We're just here to pick up an old mate and then we'll shoot through. Don't worry. Yeah, we've been expecting you. So, Obi, uh, when you show up to our, to the nameless borough here on Sindhoom, yes, um, you are greeted by uh, Argon. Argon is kind of like uh, the Master of Fang's right hand man. The Master of Fang's runs the nameless borough. He's kind of I wouldn't call him a crime lord, but pretty much pretty a crime lord. So he's the one that would have given you all the approvals and, you know, basically allowed you to go where you needed to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Argon thought that you were a hostage because of the uh, report that he heard. So he brought out people in force when he heard you were coming and then were relieved that you were not a hostage. Uh, you are treated uh, at their facility uh, also in the nameless borough, they do not use the credit system. 
uh, they're very suspicious of people who come bearing credits. Uh, you know, paying them a token, you know, some credits is fine. They just don't, they don't uh, advertise that, you know. As a good gesture, you could give them some credits, but they don't generally do that. Also, it's um, a good thing we left him there with something to trade. <laughs> yes, that's true. So it's definitely the barter system. So they'll gladly take the cryopod. Um, you can tell me what they did, like what kind of modifications you had, and we will just kind of like uh, work that out. Like, you can tell me what you look like. I don't care. Like, you got a metal arm or something, or like, you know, you can come up with how your appearance is. That's fine. Okay. Um, can I think on it then? I yeah, you can think. Freedom. Yeah, you can think on it how you how you want it to look. Okay. Uh, you have we 20 can put seconds you, to comply. We can put you in some kind of like metal suit um, as your it's part of the healing process or something, part of the many multi-stage process that they're going through. Um, You're like in a Stargate sarcophagus thing. <laughs> so this is like, instead of that uh, life support suit, so this is like a full body suit that you're walking around in. It's, a, it's, a, it's easier to move around in. There's like mm -hmm. tubes and cords and stuff. Um, uh, basically, it's part of the healing process uh, for what they did. Right, but this isn't the permanent. That's yet. correct, it's not. All right. Um, I don't know if you've ever met the Master of Fangs. Probably not. Uh, Argon is probably the closest you've come to it. But he is, the Master of Fangs actually has asked to see you and everyone. Yay. Uh, you, you've been treated really well since you've been here. Like, they've treated you, uh, they've taken care of you. They, you know, went and did the medical treatment and uh, kind of asked around, like, you know, who, what's this group? What happened? They kind of, like, want to know the story of what was going on and what happened that night. So the, you know the Master of Fangs is some kind of wolf, coyote creature. Uh, you, I mean, you do know, kind of know that because you, like in the main building where he occupies, usually they go around sweeping and there's a lot of like fur and stuff they seem to sweep off the floor, which you probably had to do at one point. It's a fucking fairy. <laughs> hey man, everyone's got to start somewhere. So, uh, so you guys are led down this street. It's fairly barren. Uh, there's a few people about, it's about uh, nine degrees Celsius. Uh, it's pretty cold. The wind is kind of blowing. You can smell the smelting factory, the, you could, the, the, the smell from it. Uh, the steam is coming up. Uh, there's one tree that just stands out. It's like 12 meters tall. Uh, it's very green. It like stands out like super obvious. And as you're walking down these streets, uh, there are these different screens, but they're all, they all are fuzzy, uh, you know, for announcements or, or whatever. Um, you're led into this big, uh, stone building like concrete it looks very nice it's been painted recently it's like blue teal color uh, with some like green trim somebody's got some uh, scaffolding as they're working up you know wa washing the windows uh, it's a tiled floor there's like mosaic tiles you're led into this back back room and you enter this room uh, and at a desk, a uh, like nice carved wood desk is this, looks like a wolf, coyote, some kind of creature in a very nice suit. He has a chair that is next to him. It's kind of torn and, and ripped, uh, but it's an ornate chair and there's like a couch in front. And he ushers you all in. He's like, come in, come in. Obi, have a seat next next to me. Uh, you know this is a big deal. Like to be asked to sit in the seat next to him is like you 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 are somebody. 
All right, take that, mom and dad. <laughs> Gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. <coughs> All right, well, I will introduce this <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, his like henchmen like let you in, and then they close the door and leave. Uh, he's got a couple paintings on the wall, abstract something or other, some a few knickknacks. Uh, so, um, Obi, tell me, uh, what happened at uh, Jukarada? Well, it was an incident. I heard all about it. Oh, okay, then I won't have to, you know, give you all the details, but I mean, I was, I mean, for my situation, I was just trying to open up a door, you know, get everyone out of a dangerous situation, and this son of a bitch shot me. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the quick facts there of, as to why I am currently um, a little crippled, a little, a little damaged. Yes, I was disturbed when I heard, uh, when I saw you peeked in on your surgeries. Oh, I, I appreciate that. What has been done to you? You are like, you are like family. Those who leave the nameless borough are few and far between. I take this as a personal offense that you have been injured. Well, I, I appreciate the thoughts. Don't worry, the man that shot him got a grenade to the face. That, that he did, yes. Yeah, those damn robots. I was avenged immediately. Tell me more. Who is... It was this... Uh, name escapes me. And who was that guy? Karis? Oh, what, the... Uh, no, that's <laughs> third? It was Hal Thielen and... Um, Thielen. Uh, robot dude. The casino owner's name. And, yeah. Ter Terminator. Casino Terminator. Karis <laughs> yeah. uh, died. I threw out all her notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. Goodbye for <laughs> Bye! <laughs> yeah, the Jawas took her and bringing that one back. <laughs> She's, She's been digested. <laughs> She's turned into a Jawa. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why that Jawa disappeared. It's a psionic Jawa now. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> oh, no. It consumed the psionic and now it's got powers. <laughs> Imagine all the sabotage she can do to the ship. <laughs> I believe that uh, he was uh, a replicant. You did good work in killing him. He hey. was trouble. Yeah, he... He looked like he was just a regular old man, and then, you know, dispatch charge went off, and then we were like, oh, shit, good, he's dead. And then he got back up. It was like, oh, shit. Exactly like that. I have I good authority was... that his head was salvaged. Huh. Well, what does that mean? That means it has valuable data. <coughs> well, Do we happen to know who uh, who salvaged him? Did anyone take his head? No. I, no. Yeah. I blew it off, I know, but I didn't know it was still in one piece. <laughs> it hit Hall in the head. I headshotted <laughs> Hall with a head. Yeah. Ada's not in here for any of this. She's staying in the car with the heater on because she's freezing. <laughs> it is in the it's in the herd system on a place called Nur. <sighs> that sounds familiar. Weren't we there yeah. one time? <laughs> the middle of the lockdown UPM yeah. system. It's sort of, it's yeah, it's near one of my planets. <coughs> well, near my, one, my home planet, at least. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you want to go that way. And especially when we got the UPM pretty close on us. Yeah, they were shitting fire down our necks. 
Uh, Jim, you are resourceful. No, he's not. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that resourceful. That's a whole whole armada out there looking for us. I mean, in your defense, UPM has kind of a shit armada. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have much. <laughs> they have hired mercs now. Uh-oh. Boy. Maybe you can help me out. Maybe you can go to Nur and find this head. Well, our only problem is, is we're running a little hot right now, you know? Yeah, if you saw the police, well, you saw the reports, uh, they're looking for us and they, they got our, they've got our faces, they've got our ship numbers, Use a sensor mask. <laughs> yeah, I tried many that. aliases. I tried that a couple times, but they seem to see through it every now and then. You could always steal a ship. It's true. <laughs> yeah, but how are we going to hide that peg leg? <laughs> oh, like Obi. I can wear Obi's going to look completely different, but. <laughs> Well, I thought he was a hostage leg. anyway. <laughs> He's innocent. He did nothing wrong. Yeah, he was just standing in the middle there with his computer. <laughs> so the door opens, one of his henchmen comes in and gives you all shots. Oh, thank you kindly. <laughs> just throws it back. <laughs> you like? It's very good. I guess it well, is it good? <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. I did pretty good hooch. It's what would you rather shelf. get to revenge? Well, I mean, I do like the idea of having that motherfucker's head. What's the value of a head like that anyway? It's good head. <laughs> You mean the price? Yeah. <clears throat> and he, he goes and taps uh, Obi on the shoulder. Priceless. I mean? Yeah. Him? My priceless? Not worth a penny. I feel so touched. I feel valued. Well... You need Let a ship me, uh, from me then? Well, maybe we might have we might not have to get a whole new ship, but you got some kind of scrap yard or something around here we can uh, make some modifications, do some adjustments, get her, you know, unrecognizable. Cue the A team montage music. <laughs> 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 okay, who wants to be BA? <laughs> you have to get shot though. Done. Already did it. See, we can do that. <laughs> We can shoot you. We, <laughs> we can, can do that. Yeah, we can arrange that. Let's just put on some extra bits and get her looking different, get her different hull tag on her. That way she's running clean. Mm -hmm. I think we could make it. So do you think it's, where, where is it locked up? Like, is it full security? It's got to be, right? You should do it yourself otherwise, right? Being a big boss. Got other things to deal with here. Other issues. On a scale of one to fucked, how's the threat level? Well, it'd be dangerous, of course. So like a, a slightly fucked. Nothing you can't handle. Now hopefully Obi don't take a round again. That was not good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be any o worse. Obi is going to come out of that suit and be like, General Kenobi, so good to see you. And his arms are going to split and he's got a fucking lightsaber suddenly. <laughs> yes, that is the Hello end. There. Hello there. 
That's exactly what's going to happen. We don't have to worry ever again. He's going to deflect the bullets and shit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, Obi-Wan. Well. How about uh, I clear your names with the UPM? That'd be that'd be that a swell. That would be very but helpful. Is that before or after we blow up another UPM place? <laughs> you do the damage you need to do and get the head back to me. I will arrange the rest. Well, he seems like a nice, trustworthy fellow. That sounds like a a decent idea. I like that fair shake. Sounds like a lot of us in agreement, then. Yeah, I'm in. Yep. But um, but before we go, what is the deal with that tree down there? Like, it sticks out like a sore thumb. You familiar with the element theorem? Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, it's roughly. everything that makes everything, it's what makes everything grow in Sindhu. It is a small offering to <coughs> us here in the Nameless Borough. Um, it's part of the um, peace treaty. So they give you one tree. All right. I call on the radio. Ask about Runotrium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, what about what have you heard about our uh, Renotrium? He just kind of leans over and looks at you. Why you ask? Uh well, when we're back, um, when we're back, uh, where was it? We're uh, we're around memoration, was it or charm? Mm. When we're in that in system, well, uh. We may have uh, flown into a space cloud or gotten near one, and um, might know where well, some is. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll me a. Uh... I would say that's perform. You could use talk roll as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, talk. There we go. <laughs> okay. Is that both of us or just him? Either way. Uh, you got, talk, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, whoever, Betty can roll it, but Betty, give yourself plus one. Ooh. I believe in you, Betty. In addition to if you got anything else. Good. I got an 11. Never heard of, uh, heard of this, but. So this is where you got this Renault trim. You got it on hand? I had it available. We're just trying to keep it safe, you know? Yeah. yeah we're not quite sure uh, what it's used for or what it's all about, but it seemed important to them uh, Sindhoom fuckers. Hmm. Hey, Ada, uh, tell us if anyone's coming up to the ship. <laughs> So were you, uh, when did you speak to the Sindhoom people? Oh, we used them to kind of like a taxi to get out to Murmuration. That was about it. Were you on the carrier, kill them all? Yeah, we spent a short time on it, just hitching a ride, you know. <coughs> they got a much bigger uh, spike drive than we do. Not bad. Well, you got family over there? No. What's your uh, business with Sindhoom, anyway? What do you think? Well, <laughs> well we just all playing coy, you know? <laughs> just playing coy. <laughs> so, Renotrium. I've heard from some sources that they call it some sort of magic. Some sort of, I guess it's close to what the psionics use. Apparently that uh, Jagger Fells knows a lot about it. 
I see. The word is that they scanned the whole sector looking for their theorem, and they ended up finding this rutronium and rosmidium, rosmidian. Well, is that the stuff uh, Jagerfels is using for the uh, Linux project? It wouldn't surprise me. Hmm. So valuable. Got it. Yeah. Well, if and we had a, a, a little bit to offload, how much would uh, one be looking at getting some of that? The price? Yeah. Hmm. That's assuming one has such an item. Well, I mean, if if we had some and we knew where we could, you know, bring it to you at, and you had some credits, mm. there might be so a possibility. we do just steal. I do have some credits in reserve, if necessary. Yeah, or some very uh, swell ship upgrades. We could definitely make a deal for some of that for some uh, high quality ship upgrades. I'm thinking about a size up, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look here before I start making decisions. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we'd be looking up going up from uh, what are we right now? Uh, from a free merchant to either a military vessel like a patrol craft or a bulk freighter. I like the idea of freighter. The bulk freighter. Now there are some things to remember. You are going to be looking at page ninety-five. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at that. So basically, you're going from frigate class to cruiser class. Yeah, and that's a huge increase. We can have fighter bays on it. We can have all kinds of. We can have self-replicating manufacturing systems on it. Whoa! Sounds like all a good deal, Jack. Like, like. I'm mainly just like interested in the badonkadonk increase, you know. <laughs> Bigger is be better. <laughs> exceptional, exceptional modifications. But I first, uh, let's deal with this replicant head and removing your status with the UPM. Yep, I'm liking where this is going. We'll get this all shaked out. Get the ship looking different, you know, and clean. And then we'll come back over here and uh, see what we can figure out in them, uh, them regards. I do have one request when you go and handle this. Yeah. I have some specific gear that I would like you to wear. This is a good shit. Of course. And whose emblem might be on it? Well, of course, you're going to be representing Sindhu. Uh, I'm, I had a feeling there was another red this sword. Mm -hmm. But I am not opposed to that plan. I don't like Maybe. them UPM fucks. They take everything the wrong way. You know, a guy just goes up in there trying to collect a bounty, and next <laughs> thing he knows, he's a terrorist. <laughs> What page uh, did you say that was on? You'd be a little bit 95. more, um, I don't know, privy to this sort of information, Obi, but is this, does this sound like a pretty good deal? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> what I sound like. <laughs> but, I mean, I do agree that it sounds pretty great. You know, for doing a job, we're getting, you know, improvements to our ship and everything, and not to mention getting a, a new start. You see, that's exactly what you sounded like the way I did it there. Your mic's just really weird. <laughs> oh, sounds great. See? Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a deal. We still have to modify our original ship to make sure that we can get into the correct area. Mm -hmm. 
So they give you a supply of borax. <coughs> yeah. And you've got to make one Three jumps or four actually. Oh, you go from golden to hoard. Uh, we can go from golden to hoard, then from hoard we can go to swarm or from to swarm or to uh, drove, and then right. one more jump after that. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a long time in UPM territory if we go the Or route. you could spike from horde to drove and just make a check. Make a what? You'd have to make uh, a spike, spike drive check. Oh, yeah. we can do that. No, no, using the lines. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We can go through uncharted territory. Yeah, it'll be fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> I got, Jim, Jim can plot down a course pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, but you're drunk. We'll we'll reconfigure the ship. <laughs> always there. Um, if you look at my picture here, so what we'll what we'll end up doing is at their scrapyard. We'll move our big engines to the back and our little engines to the front. Okay. And then we'll also add like some uh, wings coming off the side of it. I don't think that's how aerodynamics works. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're yeah, this is aerodynamics. Look, I mean, look at this fucker. <laughs> that doesn't look like aerodynamic. <laughs> and then we'll we'll add off the nose. We'll add like a a, a big ass spike forked deal. Like it's like a two triangles if you put them together. You know, with the bottom okay. edge touching. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to draw it yet, but I don't. My pen's not working properly. <laughs> Like for real, it won't write. <laughs> I was the trying to draw and it, it won't do it. <laughs> so how long how long is this gonna take? <laughs> I, I imagine if we had a few motherfuckers helping us, it'd only be a uh, day and a half two. If okay. we had some if we had some people helping us. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, you get some help. We should also see if we can find a you know minivan or something here that we can take on as well, because Let's be honest, a Warthog and an F-150 is kind of obvious driving around. Is our minivan going to be black with a orange stripe? <laughs> yes. Gonna, that's what I'm yep. looking for. I'm yep. going to find a um, minivan. We should spray paint the Sindoom logo on it. So yeah, <laughs> yep. they go Sindoom van. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They I'll are actually, the Sin team. Yeah, I'll actually ask them, hey, where are them Sindoom fuckers drive around when they're just, you know, you know, going from like little job site to little job site? You got any of them? Sindumer, they don't drive around. They're driven. Well, what are they? What are they using driven around in? Like, what are? The, what is their main putz mobile? Everybody got a shitty company car of some kind. <laughs> I'll provide you with a box truck. It's a Hell Pontiac. Yeah. We got. We got. We got a, a Sindum box truck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be here for about a day <coughs> in this borough on Sindum. Is there anything you guys want to do? Uh, any more downtime? Well, I mean, Jim's in the, Working in the there, thick yeah. of it, yeah. Getting everything all swapped around. I'm actually going to spend time meeting people and making connections and using my foci. Because okay. I can do that. All right. Let's go around seeing people I can meet, seeing the different manufacturers and everything, learning what's going on. Okay. So basically, um, what you find out is that when the war ended between Sindum and Apias, so when the war was fought, Sindum fought it with drones. And they sent all the drones over to Apias and fought them. Apias shot them, you know, fought them basically with real pilots. So the war ends, they sign a peace treaty, and Sindum agrees to haul off all their drone metal and bring it back. And they drop it here in one of these burrows where it goes to a smelting plant and they, you know, break it down and Sindum uses it for whatever, ships, whatever, whatever they make out of it. None of the people here in the burrow are Prometheans meaning Prometheans are people who are native to Sindum. They all live inside the walled city. Uh, Prometheans don't do 
work like this. I mean, they have jobs and stuff, but they don't do any kind of like manual labor or anything. They're like Kuwaitis, Josh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> so they don't. Um, uh, what else? Just like Kuwaitis, they're not real people either. Hey, hey now. <laughs> Come on, that's not polite. <laughs> not that it's wrong. It's just I mean, it, it, it is honest, <laughs> but <laughs> not, it's not nice to say it aloud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so all these people who live here outside the walled city are all from different planets, different species. They're all completely different. Uh, they seem to like the Master of Fangs. He is fairly popular in this in this borough. Mm. He has the biggest borough. There are others. They're not real rivals. They just kind of like stick to their own territory. They don't bother each other. Uh, he and you find that they have no. They do not like Sindum. They do not like the people in the Walled City. Um, they're treated very poorly. Uh, you also know that they nothing. They would like nothing more than Sindum to be. Uh, I wouldn't say you know the you know, destroyed, but basically dismantled uh, and thrown out of power. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the, the, that basically to get on and off the planet, um, you need special codes and clearances, which um, they just don't let anybody just fly down here. So you were given that approval and the Master <clears throat> Fangs can give you that approval to leave. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a it's a very interesting relationship because they do, he does work with the Prometheans and the people of Sindum because shit needs to get done. But you know, from what you gather, they just don't like them. Um, oh, okay. There are a few revolutionaries they talk about. Uh, one was goes by the name of Gogo -Go Days. He was um, fairly popular. Nobody knows what happened to him. He he left, and there was he left, and about five years ago, uh, Jagger Fells returned, <coughs> and there was some sort of trial that Gogo -Go Days was put on. And he was sent away. Uh, presumably, he was put in some prison. Uh, there was another associate um, who was called Karos, and he was uh, sent away also. Okay. Uh, they believe that those people were like part of a revolutionary movement. Um, and a lot of them work for a, a lot of some of them associate with the a pious independence alliance just because they have the same objectives mm -hmm. i found me a pencil i don't have to worry about All this right. problem pen's not working <laughs> <sighs> okay very interesting damn poor go go days he got exiled he did nothing wrong I feel kind of bad for him now. I do too. Like Jim tried, or I mean not Jim, fucking Durbin tried really hard to save Go Go Days. We did. Um. Okay then. I'm just gonna make friends while I'm here. Yeah, you do. I mean, you're able to do that. Um, I guess over the day and a half uh, or two days or whatever, I would be just in the uh, like in the ammo stores, counting up all our rounds and filling up whatever we need doing. Um, so I probably need some money, and um, yeah, just get some extra bits and pieces. Yeah, if you're going to pick up ammo and stuff here, it, it's it is strictly the barter system. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. I'll give them shotguns and they give us ammo. <laughs> okay, yeah, they'll yeah, they'll take weapons, that's fine. 
<laughs> I don't know uh, the best places to get deals with my contacts. <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah. So there's definitely underground arms dealing. What type of arms do they have here? Uh, you, you, you guys have higher stuff than they do. It's not very so, high tech. So the stuff we bring down here could have a huge value to them then, correct? Yeah, I mean, they, they're not going to turn it away. It'd be a real shame if a few crates of mag rifles wound up in their hands, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Some disruptors. Actually, I think we're going to need an administrator soon to turn <coughs> up all what we've got left in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who here is Jewish? Oh, fuck, I am. Shit. <laughs> Every You're the higher time. a Jew. I'm here. Hi. All right. And I'm German. You're on payroll. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I'm sketching out the ship real quick. Would I be able to find out if there's any abandoned Promethean military bases or outposts here that are no longer in use that might have loot and stuff in them still? Um, they kind of contract a lot of stuff out. Mm -hmm. and it, uh, there's no abandon, obviously obvious abandoned bases okay. no or any off world outposts or anything like that which have just been you know left behind due to the course of time uh, like half they, the shit in the Soviet Union uh, they can they, that's something they can look into they'll get back to you on that okay no just looking for arms armaments power armor vehicles anything like that mm -hmm. okay who knows, we might be able to bring a good deal of that stuff back as well. Alright. I'm almost done sketching the, the rough draft of the ship. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are provided with gunmetal gray jumpsuits and vac Hell suits yeah. that have the Sindum logo on them. Uh, you've been to NUR before uh the planet uh i mean it's breathable um but uh, they provide you with some tablets to help with the allergens and stuff that's in the air mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. uh they give you a grid coordinate basically it's uh outside just just outside robot city it's being kept in like this tower um, by a group called Sorry Not Sorry. It's a faction. <laughs> they basically are, they make, uh, they do all the computer programming and everything. And apparently it was sent there for them to crack to figure out what was on this. Because uh, presumably this had, probably had some sort of recording devices or something on it, you know, a lot of data. Uh, a replicant is the most advanced artificial light form there is. Yep. So to get their hands on one is a big deal. What do we know about sorry, not sorry? Uh, what would you know? Are they a bunch of eggheads or they're, you know, full mercenary company? No, they are not mercenaries. They are okay. your programmers. Uh, okay. So, uh, private military contractor kind of thing so, I got uh, going on? An easy job, just a bunch of nerds. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, not sorry would be they are the leaders in data electronics communications. They're also the leaders in virus and hacking. Mm -hmm. So, presumably, ah, very good. Oh, we look like a taser. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a rough draft. <laughs> Uh, the rumor is they have like off world <coughs> offshoots that basically just make viruses. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that they create the own, their own viruses that they solve. Okay. So perpetuating work. Right. Mm -hmm. And what do we know about the facility they'll probably be in on the. Uh, don't know about the guard situation. Don't know. Who is going to be there? It is NUR is basically run by robots, uh, the Church of Atlas. So it's all going to be all those robots running around. 
So yeah, it's not kept at like a main facility just because it's so secretive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, seeing as we're going to be needing the box truck, we may need to make a, uh, a quick getaway under fire. Jim would spend some time and make a uh, dual fitty cal mount in the back of the truck, like in the in inside the box. So like if we're getting chased and you know like yep. someone right behind Just us, the doors you know, down, whip yeah. the garage door open. Yeah, and there's a there's a dual fitty. <laughs> All right, Twee fitty. All right, well, so uh, okay. what did I have you roll before? Obi, you rolled a what? Program to work on uh, Betty's uh, quad rocket launcher? Uh, I think it was just a, a fix. fix okay, that's right. Of. It was a fix. Yeah. And Betty rolled a no? Was it a no check? Uh yeah, I'm guessing down. it was because I would have got a negative on it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, hold I thought on. she'd be more positive about this. All right, let me hold on. I Maybe it was a shoot. I don't know. Yeah, yes, it would have been. It, it was. It would have been your main skill. Okay, well then we're good. Natural twenty. Two d sixes. Yeah, that's right. That one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm ready. Rub your nipples for luck. Okay, yeah, go ahead. You got a nine. It's all right, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's that's better than what you rolled before. <coughs> you have to remember, six in this game is a ten. <laughs> yeah, it's true, actually, yeah. So give me a fix roll there, Obi. Oh, shit, I was muted. I thought I was rolling because I was, I was putting that together, yeah. No. Or no. Just for, the, for the weapon, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're, uh, you feel good enough to try to help her with it. Okay. Um, before I roll, I just want to make sure when I leveled up, it said you can pick another focus. Yeah. Okay, and I can I can level up one of my focuses, so I was gonna pick my specialist. And make okay. Two. All right. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure because that means I can now roll four, four dice for my fix. Damn. Yeah, I got that same deal. So a ten. Yeah, uh, Betty, you now have a dual rocket launcher, not a quad Ooh. one. Ooh, a it's dual. a dual. Whoa, well, that's uh, that's that's eight d ten, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can. It's you, a lot of damage. Yeah. It, will, it will take. You can shoot it, and then the next round, it will take one yes. action. Yeah, one action load to reload. It, yep. And then you can, okay. Yep. But now, uh, yeah, any yeah. any like reduction on like the attack or anything like should uh, no, should it no. be more inaccurate? No. Okay. Cool. No, it's fine. I mean, right. If anything, you're you're targeting a wider area. Yeah. Like you were, you got a wider your wedge right. just got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like a, a forty foot cone, now you got like a fifty foot cone or a sixty foot cone. <laughs> I, I, um, <clears throat> I go to I go to hug Obi, and I'm like, oh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Am I too robotic to love? Um, do I need to roll? Yeah, I'm not too big into robots. Sorry, bud. No, sorry, babe. <laughs> uh, no, no. I mean, okay. it's simple enough. It's pretty easy to mount. Let's get a couple of the heavy yeah. machine guns and stick them back there. Yeah. So you got the box truck, 50 cal, refurbished, reallocated pieces and parts on Big Bertha. You got the dual rocket launchers. Uh, Ada has done some recon, made some friends. Yep, finding out what people are ready here. to head out to Nur. Let's do this shit. So from uh, so you get clearances, you be able to leave <coughs> uh, Golden System, uh, jump to Horde, Mm -hmm. Where there's nothing there but the buoy space station and the yellow dwarf star. Refuel? Uh, yes, you can. You can refuel here. Yep. yep. Gonna have to. So 500 space bucks. Yep. Uh, who's our treasurer anyway? It's Tim, right? 
I mean, we've been we've been divvying it up between everybody. I think every time we got money, we just divided it by how many of us there were. Okay. So how much was there on this last mission? Uh, I think it was 4,500, right? I think that's what the, the mission board said, if I remember correctly. Divided by five? Yeah. So 900 each? Yeah. I think. I think that's what the mission board said. It was 4,500 to go get a body. My character finally has money. It's the happiest mm. day of her life. Uh, yeah, uh, 5,000. Oh, it was five. Oh, yeah. thousand each. They tipped you. Nice. Now it's time for the dangerous spike jump. Are you ready? Yep. I'll help you. <laughs> I'm yeah. landing still. Um, I forget where it is with the specialist. Apparently I've been rolling like my, my focus shit wrong. I roll extra dice when I roll that. <coughs> uh, yeah, for your specialist is. Yes. Oh. Roll the three and take the your best one. Yep. Drop the lowest. All right. So that is going to be 12, 13, 13. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So the fact that there is no lane here does not affect you. I make my own highways, goddammit! <laughs> you spike through drove, bam! Through the metadimensional space, it only takes like a couple seconds, and boom, you are in the herd system outside of Nur. Like, everything starts pinging, like all these different messages about her. The system is on lockdown. Uh, just all the different uh, warnings. And everything like that. What's the sensor mass say that your ship is? Um, so I believe we also changed our ship tag, like in general, like when we were <coughs> at the junkyard. Yep. So our, our ship tag now reads the Jive Turkey. <laughs> nice. Uh, I like it. Slash Sindoon. <laughs> yeah. Great YouTuber. Yeah. Sin, the, yeah. Jive Turkey via Sindoon Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think we need to go down to the planet. We could just uh, scout around this planet with the look for a tower, and then we got a big gun on this. We can use that. I think they'll shoot at us if we try that. Though, then again, how big are patrol boats in this game again? That the patrol UPM boat? has around here? They're they're bigger than we are. Yeah, but, but they're, they're still won. smart fuckers. I'm just saying, drop me off in one of them with Betty, and we'll take the whole ship. <laughs> I don't know how many crew are in a, in a patrol uh, The boat. patrol boats have like two people in them. Yeah. I mean, fuck. And they're bigger than our ship technically, so screw By it. a little bit, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of ships around here. You can tell some of them are mercenary ships. And they ping that they are merc deputized mercenary ships. Mm -hmm. uh, you're quickly hailed This is the renegade uh, deputized mercenaries. Uh, yeah, state your business, uh, Jive Turkey. Yeah, this is a Jive Turkey with Sindoom Incorporated. We were uh, sent down here to uh, do some business up on the planet. Okay. Uh, got anything more specific than that? That's kind of general. Oh, I got a truck full of supplies to drop off somewhere. Let's just say it's rather important that we make it down there. No one wants us desperately. Yep. They got a whole load of crab cakes that are going to go bad. Mm, crab cakes, you say? Yep, they're throwing a party. How many crab cakes? Oh, I'd say about two ton. It's a big party. They got crab cakes. <laughs> um, we can sip you over a box if you escort us down. You know how them rich people are. You sure they won't miss a ton? Oh, a ton's a little much, but I can get you a, a, a box for your crew. Like I said, you sure they won't miss a ton? A ton? That's much. <laughs> That's a bit much. How we got big appetites ship? on the Renegade. How big is the Renegade? What type of ship is it? It's a free merchant ship. Free merchant? 
Obi, how many people are on that ship? There's probably seven or eight people. No more Easy than ten. Take down. <laughs> Just keep him on the line, big leg. I'm gonna have run up to the swivel gun. <laughs> <laughs> we're like above the planet <laughs> there's just like shit loads of other ships we'll be fine <laughs> don't worry about it I'm saying we drop we dock with them to go ahead and unload and then we just wipe out the crew and suddenly two ships <laughs> and one's deputized so we can move about the system easy then we got a clean name here let's go ahead and change that <laughs> Speak for yourself. One ton of crab cakes uh, and six dead crew. <coughs> Easy. Easy peasy. You might want to use void carbines, though, so we don't blast holes in the ship. <laughs> I can use my rifle because it's not a tech level 4 weapon. It won't blast a hole through the ship, but you guys. <laughs> then we have General so, Grievous with us as well, and he'll Jim, just use lightsabers. Jim's going to get back on the horn with him. Oh, uh, shit. We gotta go. I'm sorry. It was nice chatting with you, but I'm getting hollered at. You know how corporations can be. Uh, give me a talk roll. All right. You get plus one because I've been helping him. <laughs> not terrible. It's an eight. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Let's see what this guy's uh, bullshit sensor is. Uh, yeah, I know the feeling. Um, all right, job turkey. Uh, we'll be looking at looking for those crab cakes. Make save us some. Yeah, we'll try and get you some on the way back. All right. We'll have to pick up some crab cakes on when we're down there. <laughs> I couldn't think of nothing. I was just like hey, crab cakes. <laughs> You guys uh, move uh, this ship, the Renegade, is following you at a relatively safe distance. It follows mm. you as you head down. A safe distance. Apparently it's never had to face an 88. There is no safe distance. <laughs> the only degrees of death. Just tell me when, bed leg. <laughs> <laughs> Just twitching in the seat. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll make our way down to land. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, with your hand. <laughs> they ping this location. It's, they, this tower is like. Um, I don't know. That's that's like that's not. Right. Hundred meters. Or so. How many meters would that be? Uh, now, would these be Canadian or European meters? Thank <laughs> you. Uh, you got um, anything electronic on you, OB? Are they going to, like, I don't know, <laughs> make your legs go haywire or something? I mean, hopefully not. All right. Can I make peg leg Kim's legs go haywire? <laughs> <laughs> His wrench. <laughs> <laughs> right. The blowtorch pokes out of his multi-tool and just starts going ham. <laughs> I think I'll just drive fly the box away. Truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good thing to remember, though. Like, if I ever end up stranded floating in a vacuum, I can just like little blowtorch bursts to <laughs> to go in a direction. <laughs> I don't know if a blowtorch would be capable of that. I think that's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> your peg like ass as well I mean so you're good either way it is a meta tool <laughs> so it's about, it's like 175 meters tall mm. okay so not that big about a quarter the size of my ego <laughs> uh, it's it, it kind of stands out from the rest of robot city um And there are like uh, machines, box droids kind of flying around it. Uh, there is a small pad that's lit up for ships to land. That's like right outside of it. Mm -hmm. 
So a Jawa is three feet tall or 0.914 meters. So call it just under 200 Jawas tall. <laughs> oh shit. I realize now that I did the same thing Obi did. I actually rolled 4d6. Nice. Good God. Level two specialist. Hey. <coughs> So what's the idea, boys? Wait, and crew. Yeah, I, I suppose we come down. You know, roll on up, pretend to be making a delivery, and then uh, go from there. Oh, well, what can we put in boxes real quick? What are we delivering? I mean, we got the ship's hold. It's got some some uh, cleaning supplies and whatnot. Probably get some mop buckets and. You know, some disinfectants and, you know, put them all up in the back of the truck there. Bunch of shotguns. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> when I think a bunch of com nerdy computer programs, I think shotguns. And we'll just throw a, a tarp over the, 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 <coughs> the, the dual Ma Deuce in the, in the back of the truck there. So when we open the door to unload, they don't see it. All right. Yeah, that could work. I would go down and... I'd get out of the swivel gun, even though I really wanted to shoot it, and uh, <laughs> and help with doing that. <laughs> There's always next time. There is. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys get out and get in the truck. Yep. I'll drive us there. The ship lands uh, in the like parking area, which is about. Uh, 2k away from the actual tower. Yeah, close. Yeah, it's not very far. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of droids and stuff, <laughs> like moving about, <coughs> like headed headed different places. It's fairly crowded. The streets are crowded, like sidewalks, not the actual roads. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how many few... people can? Go ahead. Oh, how many people can get in the front seat of this box truck? Usually two. Yeah, two or three. We got a mill seat. Yeah, true. We flip out the armrest. Yeah. I might think Obi's one of their own if he's sitting at the front too. <laughs> Greetings, fellow droids. People, people. <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> That's our word. <laughs> you can't use that word. That is our word. You're taking that word. Okay, so who's going to sit up front with me? I'll sit up front with you. Jim, oh. Jim will stay in the back since he's still like uh, easily recognizable. Is okay. he? I don't think so. I would, I would also mention like Jim put on like a pair of rubber waders on too to like hide his peg leg. Okay. <laughs> While in the Sindhoom uniform. Yeah. Yeah, he's like yeah. in the Sindhoom uniform and he's got like a pair of rubber waders on. <laughs> I just slide my big fucking rifle next to me in the seat. It's right behind me. All right. I'll so uh, uh, that would be Obi and Ada. Give me a notice roll. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Five. Oh, six, technically. Seven. Um, there's definitely a lot of traffic in the air, like small crafts and drones and stuff flying around. It's very busy here. Uh, stuff like flying on the top of this tower, then taking off, <laughs> like dropping things off. That kind of works. It will be less noticeable. Lots of deliveries. Or just so you have to stop. Delivery. Yeah, you have to stop a couple times as, I like a crosswalk as all these, uh, Droids move across, stops, couple stragglers run across. Obi, do people from Sindhu really find these jumpsuits comfortable? Yes. Very weird. Yes, they do. Are you in the back the suits or the jumpsuits? Well, you said we could breathe here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'd be in the jumpsuit then. Yeah, we don't have to be yeah. in the back suit, I'll be in the jumpsuit. Yeah, the okay. back suit okay. reduces maneuverability. Mine would be cleavage modified as well, so. 
Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but you just got sexual charges there. I mean, you got, you're what? No, they're on my bum. <laughs> you're an anvil. <laughs> no, the grenades are in the front. And the, the grenades are in the front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got, uh, she's got like the, the, the jumpsuit pulled down, the arms are tied around her waist. She's just there in a sports bra. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so we're going to head on in. All right, so you pull up to to the uh, so about a uh, hundred meters out is like a gate. It's like a it's like twenty foot gate uh, chain link, and there's a guard there. He's got a laser pistol that he he's on on his side, and a clipboard. Pull on up. Obviously stops the truck. Hi there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I help you? Delivery for sorry, not sorry. Looks at his paperwork. Uh, uh, are these, is this, uh, is this the rolling wire you got? I beg your pardon? rolling wire We're expecting uh, expecting like six spools of rolling wire yeah probably they don't tell me what's in here i'm just uh, driving the truck mm, yeah it kind of looks over where are we pulling into yeah just uh pull around the back at the dock um to drop this stuff off with um, and he's just like rolling wire coming through finally here not a problem and I I head towards the, the back <laughs> and you pull in yep uh, pull we're around not the back. live yet Ada we're all good <laughs> so, so far for now uh, uh, you pull in uh, <coughs> I assume you back up to the dock yep Okay, there's a couple dock workers there. A vehicle just leaves as they're, you know, collecting some other boxes and pushing them aside. And they're standing there waiting for you to open the back. Okay. I'll hop out, slide my rifle down the back of my jumpsuit. <laughs> Inconspicuously. Yeah. And uh, start heading towards the back. Whisper on comms. <clears throat> okay, be ready. Yeah, so underneath the tarp, Jim's probably got his shotgun and his rifle just like under the tarp. But if, uh, if depending on how this goes, Jim kind of downgraded to a, a Colt revolver that he's got tucked into a pocket nice and deep. <clears throat> but okay. he, depending, he's not sure how this is going to go. If we're going to go covert, we're going to go loud. <laughs> we're we're kind of required to go loud at this point. <laughs> I got a mouse um, at 1895. Yeah, I guess down the back I would be, shirt. yeah, hidden inside one of the, inside one of the crates as well. Okay. Ready to pop out. <laughs> All right. So he's like, uh, yeah, we got looks six uh, spools of wire. Okay. Sounds about right. Okay. I look. Is the door open to where they're going to be delivering it to? Yeah, the dock door is open. Behind them are like boxes and stuff they've stacked up and a forklift. Okay question when we were back getting this job um did we get any like outlays of the the building or any like floor plans or <laughs> anything or did we just go in and blind um uh, castle ventures so this is a tower that has a bunch of uh different businesses in it mm -hmm. and by the name of castle ventures is the one who's supposed to have it okay So well, before the our our truck door opens up, what what what's our plan here? He's getting on the the comms to everybody. Probably involving a lot of blood. Are we going loud? Or are we go, are we trying to play it cool? Well, the minute they don't see any spools of wire, I think it's going to get quite loud. All right, make sure one of them opens the door. Okay, <laughs> I unlock the door. 
All yours. I step to the side. <laughs> uh, he looks annoyed. He's like, oh, damn. Yeah. Well, he as, opens the as door. Like the door gets about here. Jim's yeah. going to pull the revolver out of his pocket and jam it in the guy's nose. Now, we don't need any trouble, but you need to stay very calm. How many dock workers were there? You said two of them? Yep. yep. My hand's just resting on the shoulder of the other one. Oh, he is. He's remaining calm. So, my, me and my friends here, we gotta go to a particular place and we need it inside and this is the best way to do it. Now, you don't have to be hurt. There's no, no, there's no reason I don't. for you to get hurt. You're correct. Not for minimum wage. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, if you would kindly help escort us in a covert fashion to, uh, what was, where was we were trying to go again? The castle systems. Yeah, to castle systems. Castle ventures. ventures yeah, ventures. That's, that's the one. One of them. <laughs> if you if you kindly escort us there, nice and uh -huh. covert like. Okay. Uh, we can just get what we're after, and leave. All right. So, um, when you have a group where no one's charismatic at all, <laughs> and they're told to do something stealthily. <laughs> no. This is a hostage situation, and I don't mean nothing personal, but you just happen to be the unlucky motherfucker in arm's reach. Um, I'll let you roll either talk or perform. Uh, you can, and you get a plus <coughs> to that roll. All right. So he's gonna he he will he's definitely gonna escort you. So this is not like pass or fail. It's just yeah. You said plus what to the roll? A plus, definitely a plus one. Okay, that makes it eleven. Yeah. Um, these guys are in no interest to be shot or killed over, uh, you know, here at the dock over you sneaking in for whatever reason. <laughs> it's not worth it. All Especially right. people who are humanoids in a robot city. I'm going to take my uh, pistol out of your hooter here and uh, I'm just going to walk behind you and just know that anything funky happens. Unfortunately, your ass is going to be shot. Okay. All right. Sounds and like he, a game so plan. He tries to look at you, but then turns. He's, uh, he's no, like, no, no, no. just listen. <laughs> uh, I get you through. And he reaches into his pocket real slow and pulls out his, his, uh, his card. I get you through the first door. After that, it's up to you because you're going to be dealing with those uh, metalheads and not reasonable people like me who don't want to get shot right right i understand you just okay. come with us as a nasa uh, human shield and just stay oh, quiet whoa, after that whoa, point. Whoa, hum no, human <laughs> no, shield no. implies <laughs> that uh i'll be blocking things that are thrown at you and that's only if things go down the wrong way which shouldn't as long as you don't start talking once we get past I'm, that first door i'm not going to start talking all right sounds like we're in agreement then on the, no, uh, we're not. <laughs> on, on, the other, <laughs> on the other side of this door, how many droids is there usually working? Well, we got to get to uh, the main <clears throat> lift. There'll be two droids behind this first door. And you're headed to Castle. That's uh, 20th floor. It's going to be at least six in there. Yes. After that, I don't know. I don't know how many are in. There. All right. Just well, get um, us to the lift and we can be nice all friendly like. Just no remember, to shooting. you belong um, here. You know, like this is where you're supposed to be. So just act normal like you're just going for your lunch break or whatever. Act natural, right? Yep, yep. And we'll just uh, meander our way through here. Ah, shit. I got two ones for my act natural check. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do I do this? All right. If they're um, if they're next to each other, how many? How many? Being that they're droids, how many hack? Or if I was trying to hack one of the droids, would I be able to get them both at the same time, or is it more like it has to be a targeted um, system? Um. Hmm. 
That's a good question. I think it would depend on how the droids are. You said this entire planet is droids for the most part? Yeah. And do they have a central CPU or are they all independent thinking droids? Like almost yeah. AI-like. I'll tell you, I would let you do a program check at the panel before you, well, after you get in the, in the, where the lift is, <clears throat> you might be able to coerce one of them. Okay. Two of them would be really tough. Uh, but you might be able to, if one of you, if you get enough time, I'm not saying it would be like two minutes, but. Uh, right. All right. So I'll, to... I'll, I'll tell our, uh, our, our new new friend here that you know, if they can at least buy me a little extra time, I might be able to work this in our favor. Okay. At least get one of the droids on our side. Well, the droids don't know who we are. They think we might be there for to use the bathroom or something. Can't hear you. <laughs> Not worth that, Jim. It, just play it cool like we're going to the break room or whatever, and you're just escorting us because you belong here. Yep. <laughs> yep. That seems like a reasonable plan. I think okay. our first uh, expedition into truly criminal ex enterprises is going fairly decent. Jim, let's not say that out loud while we're here. <laughs> that was a great dick pic and then it disappeared. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I feel cheated. So yeah, Jim's going to walk directly behind this guy at like a, a normal distance that you walk behind someone if you're walking in a group. <clears throat> and he's going to put his pistol away back in, okay. his, in his pocket. They're adorable. Okay. I like that short one. He looks yeah. sketchy. Yeah, he looks, yeah. Yeah, he looks crafty. The one on the left looks like he's going to go ahead and be a beer dispenser in the middle. That's full <laughs> of drinks for everyone. It's just a keg with legs. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like to party, huh? <laughs> The one on the right has Golden Girls playing. We never finished our episode. That's the one that's on. Repeat. Yeah, the uh, yeah, the, the one. Yeah, this one's got a screen. So um, uh, he leads you up. The the two of them are a little bit nervous, but you know, they run the little scan. They enter the room. It's got a lift. It's got one lift. There's like on the um. On the wall is a list of all the different uh, uh, companies or whoever's here. And obviously Castle Ventures is here on uh, 20th floor. Do they have name tags on the work uniforms? On these guys? No. No? Okay. Uh, so there's one droid who's got like the television set on the face. And it's like staticky and then like you see a, a, a like a humanoid man and the the other one looks like uh the one at the other end with like the um whatever that uh geometric shape is and uh trapezoid, trapezoid. i was trapezoid. gonna say that but uh, i was afraid i'd be wrong yeah, he looks kind of like a gonk droid from yeah. star wars <laughs> so yeah he's in there lights going off and in the center of his chest is like a screen. Uh, it's playing some uh, rerun of uh, Golden Girls. Hell that's, yeah. That's a damn good show. They seem to be irritated that you broke up whatever they're doing. So, uh, where to? The 20th floor. What's your purpose? Delivery for Castle Venture. Uh, he kind of leans over and walks over to the board like he's checking the names to make sure everything is like correct. Yep, it's the 20th floor. That's the one. Uh, he looks kind of, he peers at the, the guy who uh, led you in. Uh, and then looks down at his like metal arm that has no wristwatch on it. This is not your break time. And points back to work. Don't worry, these two guys are gonna help us unload the stuff. We just gotta go up there, make sure there's enough room, get stuff cleared out. No, 
No, no. Only droids are authorized breaks. These uh, soft skins need to go back and work. No, that's that's the plan. They're here to help us work. We got to help move. We got a big nope. ass couch that needs moving. No, nope. no. These soft skins are not allowed breaks. They need to go back and work. Can Only I, droids are authorized breaks. While, while he's talking, can I try and um, utilize a hack system? And... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or pretend you're taking a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you saddle up to like the panel. <coughs> My best roll yet. 13. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so you managed to get into the trapezoid guy uh, system and you can kind of you can you can kind of steer him in the direction he needs to go you don't have complete control of him right if I can you can kind of get you can kind of give him a command like to do something move along okay. move along <laughs> yeah yeah, if I can kind of give him a command to either allow us through or to just um, yeah, to tell him to have us move along and continue onward. Okay, so you see the lights kind of flash on him. The screen flips around. Uh, it's now uh, it's now starts to play something something with uh, like Soul Train comes on and people start dancing and he just kind of like tries to move and he's trying to usher you guys back into the lift the other one's just kind of looking at him like what the hell <laughs> why are we taking these two guys with us they're just problems we're going to have to deal with in the future we don't really need them we're already committed the problem is well I, once we're in the elevator and it's moving yeah. <clears throat> Is, are we at that point or no? Yeah, you get into the elevator, it, the lift, and it closes. <coughs> As it closes, the, the one with the TV is looking at the other one, like, and he starts bitching at him. <laughs> um, so once we're in the elevator, unfortunately, we can't risk these two uh, just fucking off and, uh, you know, telling on us, unfortunately. Not saying that they're unkind enough to do that, but it's a risk we cannot afford to just leave them unattended. Okay, you two. If anything goes south, keep your heads down, okay? Yeah, hopefully you don't get shot. We don't mean for you to get shot. Well, you just you mentioned something about a human shield. I wasn't really keen on that. Well, I mean, I would like to stand behind you if shooting starts happening because they're less likely to shoot at you than they are at me. Uh, you know? No, they'll gladly shoot through me to hit you. They don't seem to really care about these people. Well, it's best if we just do everything we can to make sure they don't suffer any damage during this operation. Well, uh, uh, yeah. They might need to defend themselves. We do have some spare shotguns in here. <laughs> well, you do. That's true. How about it, you two? Uh, yeah, screw to... your robot overlords and uh, let's get on it. And I use. I, I've got. I've got like the hench keeper sort of thing, so <laughs> yeah, you ready to get maybe off I this can planet? use my lead or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you I have could, lead as well. Shit. <laughs> you could become our newest prospects. We do have some openings on the ship. Pay's good. Much better than what you get paid here. Yeah, and not minimum wage on that ship. Not to mention, you actually get breaks. Uh, so, Betty, give me a... Uh... <laughs> Is it? Give me a lead, lead. roll. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What do you roll for that? Uh, just two d six, but yeah, I have a plus charisma. one. Yeah. Yeah. Roll three for me and drop the lowest. Right. And your charisma modifier. Oh yeah, that's right. So one plus. Oh yeah, that doesn't really matter. So good. Okay, drop the lowest. Here to you. Um, plus one. That is nine. Yeah, they, 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 you have their undivided attention. All right, sure. well, let's lead you up. And I put and a bandolier on each at, of them. Yeah, one looks at you, he's like, keep talking, hon. He's, he's, the other one's like, yep, I drink her bath water. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what Betty's selling. <laughs> yeah, I did not realize uh, 
<coughs> discouraged workers situation that they got going on here on this planet. I didn't realize that the humans were being treated like such shit. Oh, yeah. It's quite horrendous. <laughs> well, we'll make sure that you go ahead and get some revenge. Yeah, we're here to pick up, so, well, well, now that you're a part of the team and all, we're here to pick up some uh, replicant head, and we're just going to desecrate it, you know, the things that you do to robots. We're just here to get some head. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So they grab right, their guns, they're ready to roll. <laughs> I slap them both on the butt. All right, let's go. <laughs> you're still walking in front, though. I don't fully trust you yet. We just met, you know. Now wait, before... The robots are going to be whereabouts in this building? Uh, there's going to be one when we first walk in. Mm -hmm. uh, just like a little box droid admin person. After that, I don't know. There's double doors behind them. Sounds good. I'll load up my AP rounds. <laughs> Jim just brought the revolver this time. He opted for like the, the human shield stealth plan, so he just brought the revolver. I think um, Betty always runs HE with her rocket launchers. <laughs> I like how you hit the rocket launcher somewhere. It's always behind me. Like, you know, I'm leaning on it. You're so casual about it, no one ever notices it either. It's like a walking so, stick. <laughs> are you guys really trying big. to conceal your weapons as you come in, or just yeah? Jim it? tucks his revolver back in his pocket, or well, it was still in his pocket, so yeah. Uh, okay. Mine hidden in my jumpsuit. It fits easy. Yeah, you're scared. All right. All right. Yeah, put mine against the back wall and sort of just stand in front of it. <laughs> General okay. Grievous just uses lightsabers, so he doesn't really need to conceal anything. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of, Bert and Ernie kind of stand next to you with their shotguns hiding <laughs> their weapons. Uh, door opens, and it's just like they said. It's, it's You walk in, there's a small like desk where this box droid is kind of like sitting on in, set in it. A bunch of buttons and not, and spinning out like numbers and all kinds like doing some kind of calculations it's like six different arms on the table looks up good day <laughs> hello welcome hello. to castle ventures howdy just walk <laughs> past him towards the door <laughs> uh uh where are you going you see inside uh, <clears throat> well while they're talking to the droid, does it have does it have like one like lens eye or something that's moving looking at them? Uh it's got like three in the front. Okay. While they're talking to it, Jim's gonna make his way around behind it mm -hmm. and uh pull out his uh his peg leg multi tool and uh see if there's like a back panel or something he can access. I thought Obi was just gonna hack it. <laughs> I mean, I was, that was, that's what I was thinking. If it's just the one, I can try, try yeah, it. That's just the one. Oh, yeah. If, it, if that's the plan, then yeah, we'll go with that okay. one. <laughs> Otherwise, Jim was just going to try and shut it off. <laughs> yeah, okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, eight? Yeah, you... Uh, this thing is kind of confused because there's so many people in the room and he sees the workers and he's like, you know, it's like, what the hell is going on? You're able to, like, you see the panel pop it off, just kind of do a quick um, a quick hack of it. You shut it down pretty easily. Um, uh, then you hear a noise as the door in front of you has, like, locked. So it was, there's some kind of safety protocol that it had, and it just activated that. So it shut, it locked the doors. What's the walls and door made of? Uh, some sort of steel. So it's not like a place in California where you just punch a hole through the wall or anything? <laughs> no. no. Um, Does it seem like the, uh, the droid is going to be uh, shut off for a while then? He has to be manually turned back on? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You could turn him on if you wanted to, but somebody's physically got to come in here and uh, then turn him back on. If he does not seem to be any issue anymore, then I will try and redirect uh, my computer to 
to the door and see if I can't um, undo that safety. Yeah, Obi with the door unlocks. <laughs> also, <clears throat> hopefully no one shoots me this time. You know, <laughs> is there any rifle? like uh, screens or anything around the droid that I can that Jim can look at to see if uh, <coughs> if he can find any information about which room the head would be in or anything like that? Um. Betty, so make it an a trip wire in front of the elevator door in case anyone comes behind us. Uh, trip. Would you say sorry? A trip wire. For a the grenade door? trip wire. Give me a notice for the elevator. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, that's not so good. That's a six. <laughs> so there's a real. Yeah, that's not really. So there's a shitload of paperwork and stuff. Um that he was looking at. There's no obvious like screens or anything. Everything got shut down. But mm -hmm. posted on the wall is the fire drill thing. And, uh, you know, it, it's like it's basically a schismatic. So behind this door is a room and then there's another room behind that and that's basically it. Okay, so it's like a, a two-part deal. I got you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, well, boys, it looks like we only got two rooms to go. Sounds good. Any luck, OB? Do I have any luck or do I need to roll again? Oh, what'd you roll? <coughs> uh, another eight. Okay. Um, this, yeah, this is pretty difficult. I mean, there's some kind of... Uh, it's almost like they anticipate somebody would try to hack the system, so it's basically been locked down. Jim's going to come up and wrap a knuckle on the door. How thick does it sound? Pretty thick. Pretty thick. Hmm. Hey, Obi, can this door be opened from the other side even when it's locked down out here? Uh, I don't know. Well, would that be something I would know? Yeah, yeah. You would know that it would probably be open from the other side, yeah. How about me and my two new friends... Uh, <laughs> Tie up the arms of this uh, of this robot and torture it a little bit until it lets us open the door. How about that? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea, the main Betty. Frame. <laughs> we we can't try another thing. I'm gonna walk up to the door and knock on it. Maintenance. <laughs> yeah, there's a problem here. Your droid shut down. Oh boy. Sounds eerily familiar. <laughs> no one ever <laughs> questioned maintenance. <laughs> uh, give me a talk roll. Something I'm actually not bad at at all. Uh, that is a 11, 12, 13. Uh, you just hear a voice. We thought maintenance was on break. Well, we were until something happened up here. You mind opening this door so we can get inside? Okay. Thank you. Flashbang in one hand. <laughs> I just hand it, I pull one out of my bra and hand it to you. <laughs> Did you see that? Yep, I saw that. All right. <laughs> So you hear the door, like all these different locks unlocked all the way around. And then it swings open. <laughs> Throw the flashbang in and dive all right, out of the way. <laughs> so I want you to give me. <coughs> give you something. So yeah, you give me an attack roll. Okay. <clears throat> That's a. Uh, 18. All right. And then what's a D4? Yep, D4. That's a three. Okay. So as soon as it opens, you launch the flashbang. Before this thing hits the ground, the droid is already 
pulled the weapon and fired at you. Oh boy. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> 17, does that hit? Oh, yeah, that hits. He jumps in up this. So you take five damage. <gasps> okay. And he blasts you with a laser pistol. Oh, God, they got laser pistols. What a bunch of cucks. I wonder they're losing. Mag rifles, you fags. No. <laughs> <laughs> And now everyone within 15 meters of that <laughs> loses their actions. Um, so it goes off with a boom in this room. There's, this is the only thing in here. There's a table with some tools and shit on it. Uh, for a second, you see the droid like point his weapon, like he's going to fire again. And his lights begin to flash. And then the TV goes blank like, uh, like a bad signal. And he's just frozen in place. Very nice. Anything else in that room? Uh, there's just a door straight ahead. Okay. So it seemed like the flashbang has disabled him then? Well, he is currently disabled, yes. Okay. He's going to be stunned for like three turns. Okay, I'll, I'm going to him and then manually you know, <laughs> if I can turn him off or disconnect him. So that okay. Would, Jim will help you with his meta tool, try and take apart the back of the robot and get it shut off. Okay. Yeah. Betty <laughs> and the two henchmen will knock it over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead, roll. Jim, on the fire escape, oh. escape plan, did it say they had to come through here no matter what, or was their back entrance out of there? I don't know, I'll go look. He's going to go back and look at the, the diagram. Is it, is it just like a straight hallway, basically, coming back to the elevator? Like there's no Yeah, other... the, the alternate <clears throat> route is there is an emergency window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just we know what's up. out the window. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? For me? Yep. Oh, for that. For the robot, it was 12. Okay. Yeah, you shut it down. It will not come back up. Okay. You guys are still trying to push it over. The son of a bitch is really heavy. <laughs> Put your backs into it, boys. Come on. <laughs> I go up to the door. Is that one locked too? <laughs> um, no, it's not. Okay, everyone, get ready. Yep, we're going to do another breach and clear. Yep. Betty, feel free to toss in when you're ready. Yeah. Jim, um, Jim's on one side of the door. Yeah, Ada's on the other. On the other. <laughs> you hear a loud doosh as the robot hits the floor and I just walk over <laughs> to the door. <laughs> I shove open the door and I back away. All right. And you throw another one in? Yeah. <coughs> Okay. Go ahead. Uh, it's a D20. Yep. Plus. Attack roll. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a uh, 20, not natural. All right. And then, and then 1D4. And then 1D4. Yep. Ooh, and number four. The long mm. stun. <coughs> they do get the evasion, so... So uh, you open the story, throw it in, just a quick look, Chuck, goes boom, goes off. Um, then what are you going to do? I'll head on in. Yeah, immediately <laughs> yeah. after that, Jim's swinging around the corner, yeah, like rifle. pistol drawn on his, <laughs> yeah. you know, <clears throat> breach yeah, and clear style. Go, go, go. And I just usher the two guys in. By the corner as I go past. Make sure everything's okay. safe. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I would say peg leg Jim would be first. Then 
Ada, Bert and Ernie with Betty, then Ob, Exe. All right, give me a D8 roll, Jim. All right. That bugger go. There it is. That's uh, four. Okay. So you turn the corner, boom, walk in the door. Uh, you catch a glimpse of two droids that are shut down, uh, but there's a third one that is not, and he fires at you with a eight and misses. <laughs> that misses, yeah. He was disoriented. So go ahead and you uh, go ahead and attack. Peg like Jim, right. and then Ada is next. Yeah, Jim will make a shot. Natural 20! <laughs> oh, hell. Here we go. So that is... 2d8 plus my shoot which is 13 points of damage okay did you roll double damage <clears throat> yes okay and then am I, am I rolling the d100 yep or, okay oh yeah That's a twenty nine. Okay. Yeah, you've you've cracked his little window he has. All right. He's still crack. he looks still like functioning though. He is still a functioning machine. Jim's gonna do a snapshot and do another one. He's just gonna like, bam, slam the hammer. All right. Is that a negative to the roll? Minus uh, four. Yeah, snapshots. <clears throat> they have a uh, less chance to hit. I oh, wanna see what it is exactly. Where did it go? Where did it go? Projectile weapons. First mode. Fuck, where did it go? It would be under what you can do during combat. Yeah. I've used it before. Yeah. It would be on page 50, I believe. I just found it. All right. God dang it, when I'm looking for it, I can find it. Or when I'm not looking for it, I know where it is. Maybe it's Page instant 50. action. Yep. Instant action. Page 50 should be the third or fourth one down. Oh, yep, you're right. Oh, yep, minus four. So that is a... Uh, so it's 12 to hit. Okay, that's that just misses. All right. Okay, I think the snapshot is in, is done instead of your main action, like to go first. But we'll have oh, to look at it. before main. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, Ada. Yes. Um, what do I see? You see two droids that are shut down. One has fired. Uh, one that Jim hit. Uh, there's some shit in the middle of the room, like some kind of contraption, like a box, uh, something. And there's a bunch of tools around it and a bunch of wires going all the way up to the ceiling. Do I see the emergency exit open? The window exit. Open? Yeah, is the window open? No, it, it looks like there's a box on the mm -hmm. far wall, and that's probably where the window is. You probably have to activate it. Okay, in that case, I'm going to shoot the robot that Jim shot then. Okay. Because I know no one's left this place then. That's a 15. Yeah, you fire and it just pink, pings right off of him. Oh no. <laughs> He's immune to my bullets. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's going to do it for me then. <laughs> oh, so. you're right on that. That's like a <clears throat> it's kind of like a, a reaction and your action combined. Okay. That instant action thing. So uh, so you've shot. Here comes Bert and Ernie. Uh, the, uh, the droid wheels out like some kind of long, like uh, 
antenna on its other arm and fires at Bert. No. No, Bert. I loved him. <laughs> Bert is hit with an electrical charge and he's just like, Zzz. no. I am shocked that you would do that to Bert. Yeah, peeps don't have much HP either, so. <laughs> he's like fried. Well, yeah, the, the hint, yeah, like the little. Yeah. yeah, the people that I can recruit. Yeah. How many hit point? Is there a hit point max to them? I, I think it says six. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. He's still up. He is. <laughs> he's in bad shape, but he's kind of smoldering. His uniform has been burnt. Uh. Uh. You want? Let's see. Betty, you're up. All right. Betty, you gonna well, do? <laughs> I would roll in with the rocket launcher. And fire my dual rocket launchers into the ground near the robots. Okay. Oh, fracticide, nothing better. <laughs> All right. Okay, with a 18 to hit. Yeah, yeah, it hits. And that's a fresh 8d10. <laughs> uh, eight of these. Oh boy. And that's a 58. <laughs> yeah, the robot's fine. <laughs> so uh, you fire, <coughs> it blows the shit out of this thing. Like pieces, shit flying all through the room. Like pieces of metal stick into the wall. The one that was stunned next to it, um, it just gets blown to pits, bits too. Like parts of it fall down. Uh, give me a D100 roll. Okay. Uh, 74. Okay. This is bad. <laughs> Structural integrity down 74%. <laughs> uh, there's now, you can hear an alarm going off in the building. I think they know we're here. Nah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right, let's find this head, boys. Yeah, let's get well, the still one left. It's done still though, isn't it? Uh there is one that is that was not uh instantly killed that is still stunned. <laughs> yeah. He can always come back. Well yeah. there's still Ernie to go, so I believe uh, Obi, Ernie. you can go. Um Gosh, I mean I kinda don't want to go up there and manually <laughs> turn him off because to get fucking blown up myself. <laughs> uh, if I, yeah, if I can remotely try and uh, just disable him, uh, <laughs> stunned, I'll, I'll remotely try and uh, permanently disable him. Okay. Yeah, we can say that you got uh, you. You took. Um, you shut down the other one. We'll say that with yeah with the data pad. It'll be a little bit harder than just running up there but you could do it you could attempt to remotely if you want okay then yeah i will do that and okay yeah you see the lights go out and he just he is he's been shut down god damn what a fucking unit let's stop talking and get the head and then get out of here yep let's yeah. move quick Man, they've done some good upgrades to you, Obi. <laughs> <laughs> the ability to turn off robots. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Used my computer and didn't pull all the attention. Yeah, it's nice. Right? Amazing. I have mastered the subtlety of uh, computing. Yeah, that, the subtlety them light, yeah, that latex suit and them hoses seem to be doing you real good. <laughs> well, that's my fetish, found out. <laughs> Well, that's kind of what he was describing as like a, a suit, a body yeah. suit with hoses, so like a latex suit with hoses. What I've been picturing. <laughs> so, in the middle of this room, um, amongst these uh, robot parts, is like a box. Uh, when you remove the lid, like if you pull the top off of it, the cords that were now going up to the ceiling have all been cut from the explosion. Uh, is the replicant's head sitting in there. Careful about trying to bite you. I open up the emergency exit so we can get out of here. 
That's just a window. As you pull the head out, you realize that the structure it was in was damaged and there's like a big piece of metal sticking in the head now. It's a look. Uh, all right, help me out with this, uh, Bert and Ernie. <laughs> and I, um, I try and like, are there like whiteboards around or something? Do you want there to be a whiteboard? Yeah, I yes, I'd imagine is. like if they're like in like a research center. Yeah, like, there's a whiteboard. Maybe, yeah, and I just get some permanent market. I get the permanent <laughs> markers and start writing sin doom, and then <laughs> and then get on the floor like and then like start writing on the floor like just big <laughs> letters. Yeah. So not the dry erase marker. You you find you've been you've been equipped with a sharpie. Yeah. That's and right. you're writing Sindhoom everywhere. Is that what it is? That's right. Uh, yeah, That's what Obi has up. now. He <laughs> has Obi's hand with the Sharpie attachment and he's writing it on the board. <laughs> go, go, Gadget, Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, so you are attempting to open the emergency door? Yeah. So as the, you walk, uh, uh, you walk uh, over, you realize there's a little flip panel and there's just like a lever that you, you slam down, you know, in case of emergency, blah, blah, blah. Works for me. I don't think the elevators are going to be functioning after this. So you slam it down. This thing opens. Feel the 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 nur air hit, hits you. Yep. Uh, it's cool breeze. Um, it is a forty foot drop. No ladder or anything. No, there's no ladder. Yep. Well, convenience of convenience, I do have rope on my person. Forty meters of it. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna get some real rope burn after this. <laughs> See? <Rope> 40 <laughs> meters. <laughs> you think I'm lying, motherfucker? No. <coughs> Let's get her tied off. <laughs> yep, tie off the thing and just start rappelling down. Yeah, Jim. Jim will pop off his peg leg and like tighten down the <laughs> monkey wrench head so he can put the, the monkey wrench loop through the rope and use it to slide down with so he don't burn his hands. <laughs> All right, so what's the order we're going to use the rope here? I'll go down first. Okay, so the Ada. I'll put uh, Bernie in front of me and then I'll go. That's a, that's a good let's them together, Bernie. Good, yeah, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he wants my two dollars seventy cents. <laughs> so Bert and Ernie, then who's after that? Jim. Peg like Jim. And whoever comes up here is going to get a grenade surprise too. I would say Betty would probably be last. Probably would not. Make yeah, I'll be last. So I want to. I want to reload the. Uh, I want to reload the rocket launcher and maybe put a uh, set up a demo charge for the elevator. You know. I take it Obi has the head because he's the only one with pockets. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Granted, that's not incredibly heavy. Yeah. Uh, it weighs approximately. Six encumbrance only, so it's not too bad. Oh. <laughs> All right, so who's tying off this rope? Uh, I'll tie it off. I'm an expert at this. What would that be? Uh, survival, exert, um, and the dex modifier, I guess. <laughs> um... No, she would be the most long to call. Yeah, yeah, you s survive. That's that would work. Oh, first I was afraid I was petrified. Uh, remember your Boy Scout knots. Yeah, so that's an uh, eleven. I remember them perfectly from what Daddy taught me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. I'm leech rope tire. So give me an exert roll as you head down the rope. Hooray for the plus ones. Everybody? Uh no, just to just uh just data right now. Uh that's a oh shit. Um would it be dex or strength? Uh I'll let you pick. Okay, so uh fourteen. Yeah, no problem. You've done this before. Damn. You've trained a 
it's that uh, that you see A to go down the rope upside down, whatever that uh, propelling. The Spider Man repelling. Thing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. My captain did that in basic, and it was like, holy shit, how the fuck did you do that? <laughs> Bert, Bert looks at uh, you, but he's like, do we have to do it like that? No, just do it so you don't <laughs> die. Okay. All right. So, uh, roll for Bert there, uh, Betty. I believe uh, do in I, you. Do they have any? They should have negatives. How about that? <laughs> All right, we'll give him an exit. Yep, yep exert. Uh, <laughs> they probably have pluses because they are just manual laborers who are lifting heavy yeah, shit. Yeah, true. All day. What, what are their additions? Because uh, they plus got a one five exert, plus one strength, so two. <laughs> Maybe two. Um, so that would make them up to a seven. It's not, uh, you know, heavy lifting. <laughs> super graceful. <laughs> I, I I could see a, I could see a one. They're laborers. That makes sense. So okay, well, it's a six then. Yeah, it, it's not. Uh, uh, give me a D four roll. They might be laborers, but they're also dummy thick. It ain't good. Uh, a number four. Yeah. So he's moving down. He's like the rope is. Uh, I mean. He's strong enough, but repelling is, is so, something that does take a little bit of skill. Yeah. So you don't bust your ass, and that's exactly what he does. He kind of like burns his hands and falls. I got you. <laughs> like 10, 12 feet. Wham! He hits the ground. He is not moving. Uh oh. Ernie. Ernie's to All right. We're yep. Plus one. Uh yep. Damn it. I think I killed these bastards. <laughs> no one got a five. <laughs> You're only friends in life, Betty, and you killed oh, them both. Man. So get roll uh, 2d4. 2d4. Friend, and that's it. You're never getting friends ever again. They got seven. Seven all up. Uh, yeah, his, his he's not... Uh, Ernie is not graceful at all. He sees what happens to Bert, and as he goes, he sort of panics <laughs> and slips, and and he falls like twenty feet, uh, hits the side of the tower, tries to grab onto the rope, and just tumbles, landing next to Bert, not on him. He is not moving either. We uh, go to Peg Leg Jim. I'm gonna right. hold and steady the rope here, so they stop doing this. Oh, that's a twelve. <laughs> yeah, it's you've learned from their uh you've watched them things yeah, not to he, do. He notches the monkey wrench in, in the loop and uses the monkey wrench to like slide down gracefully. <laughs> so uh Obi and Betty, you're up here. Uh Betty, what are you what were you doing when these two were going down? Were you watching them or are you like you said, were you yeah, really I, I, I would have watched those two and then I just would have like looked back inside of the um like back inside the tower and just shook my head like oh man okay. the elevator I'm have to write door another opens. two eulogies <laughs> the elevator door opens and a some sort of he looks human but he's got like uh, robotic arms that are obviously made of metal uh, he's wearing a lab coat and he just looks and his eyes turn like beet red uh, and smoke starts coming out of his ears uh, I need Obi. I need you two guys to give me initiative rolls. Also, remind the robot to watch out for that tripwire with the grenade attached to it. Betty set up at the elevator door. <laughs> I don't think um, Betty had enough time to do that. No, nah, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh. Um, so cool. a D eight is a is yep. a thing. Yeah. Yep. Plus six. Uh, <laughs> That's a five <laughs> for me. Okay. I got eight. Okay, Obi, you can go first. All right. Um, you can decide what to do. Saber. <clears throat> I will quickly start scrambling down the rope. Excellent. Okay, give me I an exert my, roll. Take my my take my escape. Oh, twelve. Yeah. I had the minus minus one, but my dex gave me a solid. So. Uh, yeah, I think it's the uh, the special suit. 
has definitely given you these abilities. Not a problem. You're, yep. you're muted. Oh, not nine today. That's the same way it happened for Jim. He has a minus one in exert, but his deck's got him. <laughs> Boom, you get Back to the to bottom. 12. <laughs> so uh, before I go to Betty, Ada, would you be doing anything for Bert and Ernie here as they're bleeding out? Oh, you you did alive? grab the rope. No, they're unconscious. They're unconscious? Betty, give me two D20 rolls. Okie dokie. I don't have the healing skill. They're bleeding out, and the Lazarus I patch got... won't help this. <laughs> Add them together, I got 18. No, don't add them together. Okay, so a nine and a nine. Okay. Nine and a nine. All right, Betty, what are you doing? Um, so I see this. It, so the person who's in the lab creates a robot, yeah? Yeah, he's definitely a machine. Uh, All right. Rocket launcher. <laughs> um, now I've got, I've still got flashbangs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull one out and lob it in his direction. Okay. Um, so D twenty plus four, uh, seventeen. Okay. Okay, um, and then the D four yep. is a four. Okay. So bang! It hits. Uh, he looks kind of disoriented, like uh, confused right now at this point. Um. So I'm gonna then I'm gonna use the um the warrior skill thing where I get like another action and then I'm gonna use that to jump down the, the thing as well. Okay. This person has seen both your faces. Are you sure it's wise to let it live? <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. Alright, go ahead and roll. I got robot right. faith, I'll just wear a new one. So exit. <laughs> oh god, we should give so, you better Ernie's faces ten. to wear. Yeah, not bad. Uh, you get down right. to the bottom. Uh, Bert, unless anybody wants to try a heal, he's got just one more. Okay, there we go. If I can make it down quick enough, I will attempt a heal. Yep. Ah. He, he's the first one that needs it. I would just make it worse. Seven? Anybody knows that off the top of their head? You need a. It's a six or an eight to stabilize. For stabilize, I think it is six. Uh, I think it's six, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's a healing. See animal husbandry. <laughs> well, using a Lazarus patch. I don't think we can on them because their injury isn't gunshot or anything. Blunt force trauma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with no med tools, it's 10. With a med kit, it's 8. <coughs> Lazarus patch, it's 6. I don't think Lazarus Patch is required to be a gunshot. I think they're they're like exactly. a an yeah. all in one. Oh yeah, they're like adrenaline or something out there. It's yeah, a heavy compression compress laced with antibiotics, coagulates, system stabilizers, plasmas, and a one shot shot diagnostic suite. Yeah, so it like tells you what's wrong with a motherfucker, it gives them morphine, it stabilizes right. their heart rate, everything, man. Yeah, because right. if that would work, I have three of them on me. Ready to use. I have the Lazarus patch. But I thought it was a, I thought it was yeah, a gunshot or something like that. You had to use it on. No, that's okay. So if you use the Lazarus patch, he he is he'll be stabilized. Yay! Okay. Now you gotta worry about the other guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have any more. I got three. If you want one, <laughs> here you go. Sure. <laughs> I I will then use that one and attempt. Um, so who, who did I just heal? Bert or Ernie? Bert. Okay, so I will now attempt to heal Ernie. Jim's going to be trying to help Bert back up to his feet. Like, come on now. <coughs> you, you, you'll make out of this yet. <laughs> I, I got six. Did I need six or do I need more than six? You need six. 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 Okay. Well, so they I are stabilized. <laughs> uh, they will obviously need lots of assistance moving. 
I grab Ernie and just throw him over my shoulder. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we help me, help me with uh, Bert. We're gonna, we're a two man carry this guy. I will assist Pigling. So you can hear the alarms. Uh, there's alarms going off. Um, as you make your way around the building <coughs> to the box truck. Mm -hmm. The dock is empty at this point. Well, that's good. I toss Bert in the back and hop in the front seat. Or oh, Ernie, should I say? I have Ernie, I think. Okay. Yeah, me and Obi will get Bert in the back. Betty, get on that gun just in case someone chases us. All right. Can I just, yeah, leave the doors open and get ready to shoot out? Well, you can just shoot the doors off. You don't have to leave them open. <laughs> That's true. I could do that Make too. Surprisingly <laughs> obvious that we have two corpses in the back there. And... <laughs> but if we leave the door, then we can potentially close it later on once we lose whoever chases. Well, I mean, someone's got to ride in the back anyway. Someone can just open the door for him. Yeah, yeah. we're not being chased at the moment. <laughs> I start heading towards the gate. Okay. Yeah, everybody's all loaded up. I'll, yeah, the I'll... one guy at the gate's like trying to stop you. He's like, I'm not going to let you go through. Don't just... stop, Ada. Just keep going. Oh, that's what the gas pedal's for. All the way down. <laughs> all right, give me a pilot check. I've been training in this skill, so I'm not shit anymore. Okay. Right, and it's technology you're familiar with. Yeah, it's something I've actually used. Uh, 11. All right, it's an excellent, I mean, you swerve, uh, you hit the, the fence, this gate right where you need to to make it through. This guy is trying to, like, get out of the way, and then he realizes, oh, shit, I don't get paid enough. <laughs> As he tries to move out of the way, you clip him, and he's like, phew, he just tumbles. No, he could have been and, part of our crew. He could have been the, a and, henchman. And as the back, like, and as like the back is show, showing him, <laughs> I just put some bullets into him as we go past. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he was a bad guy. <laughs> he wasn't just, getting paid enough to be a bad guy. <laughs> this is why we keep the door closed. <laughs> all right so you as you look you can see the tower is lit up with all these lights now uh you can hear like some kind of klaxon going off as you head towards your ship i go at a more respectable pace towards the ship as to not draw too much attention to us okay <laughs> gotta dish the truck as soon as we get close to the ship you better not get us stuck in traffic ada <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's 2K away, so it's not very far. Yeah. Um, do we have to ditch the truck, or couldn't we just drive it onto the ship with all the guns and everything else we have on it? Well, we don't yeah, want it to be. Do we don't want it to be seen like pulling back into our ship. We don't need our ship being seen. We can just unpin the 50s, and Betty can grab them. <laughs> but they already no. know it's our ship because we got yeah. off in this truck, and we and they have cameras to be at the starport. As well. We wanted to be known that Sindhu was here. So. Yeah. <laughs> and That's what we we've modified told. our ship to look like, I don't know, something else. So <laughs> We can modify it back anytime and it has yeah. a different name anyway. This is the Sindhu like, variant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if we go, we won't get back, they don't mind changing it again. Yeah, I yeah. think it's... Yeah, it's so it's, yeah, we can just drive up in there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So you are driving the box truck... Yep. And I want you to give me an exert roll. Ready for plus ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a 10. Okay. The steering wheel suddenly moves and begins to try to make a U-turn. And you're like holding on to the steering wheel. And yep, the truck is us. like sliding. <laughs> Oh shit. And you're like, like you're ripping drift. the steering wheel as the truck is like, the steering wheel is like something is taking control of it. I bump the radio with my oboe and Eurobeat comes on <laughs> as we're drifting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with my, uh, my slab and I attempt to try and block whatever it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah
<clears throat> is there like I think there's is there like a door between the the back of the truck and the the cab? Sure, there's like a little window thingy. Yeah, so like Jim's got like one arm through trying to help her pull the wheel back. <laughs> kind of twelve. Okay, you can see that someone has like hacked into the whole steering system, uh, and you manage to like cut them off. So so as you're pulling, and then it comes right back. So give me a drive. So give me a pilot check. <laughs> I probably should have warned you. Oh well, good thing I'm an uh, expert, so I can reroll that. <laughs> Once per scene, all right. That's much better. That's a 11. Okay, yeah, it flips right back. You don't roll this truck. Good! <laughs> but you roll right up onto the curb. A couple of droids jump out of the way to avoid being hit. Um, oh, so much for subtlety, and I just stomp my foot down and start yeah. going now. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I, I'm in the back. I'm freaking out. So I'm like, hold on to the gun, just swiveling around. And, Whoa! <laughs> I might have pressed it a couple times, you know. Bert and Ernie have uh, slammed <laughs> back and forth. I like to imagine your legs have completely left the ground and you're just spinning on a rotating gun right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, you just get, sure you get to the dock right, cool. where the ship is. Yep. Yeah, Jim's got like the door halfway, or like this like halfway out of the thing as we're as we're rolling up into our ship, <laughs> running. <Yep. laughs> All right. Get on yeah. the ramp and slam on the brakes. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we get up inside the ship, Jim's just hauling ass to the, the pilot seat. Okay, so everybody that makes a, uh, as you just jumping out of the truck and headed to the. Yeah. So sure. Jim is first. Give me uh evasion roll, right? Is that what it is? Uh. Great evasion save. Yeah. That's a D20, right? Yep. Yep. That is Plus dex. Actually, one of the D20s. Yeah. No, it's a D20, and you have to beat whatever your evasion number is. Yeah, so it's yeah. 15 minus whatever. Oh, if you have any minus. 16 minus, minus, minus your level. Where are you getting 16? Dex. Well, that's where it says at the start. It's 16 minus level minus deck slash int. Where, what page is that? Okay, so that's on the character sheet it's itself. On the character sheet, yeah. That's a it, communist lie. It'd be a 16, <laughs> it'd be a 16 minus 2 minus 1, so that's 13. Now, so it says your character saving throw starts at 15, so I was wondering where the hell you get That's 16 because from. you're level 1. It goes yeah. up? It goes down. It, it starts at 16, but since you start at level 1, it's a 15 saving throw no matter what. Yeah, and then you since, we're level, since we're level two now, that brings it down to 14, and then I have a plus one to deck, so that brings it down to 13. Okay. Yeah. So I have a uh, 15, so we're good. You pass. Yep. Uh, you take uh, two damage. Yeah, as he does like a, a tuck and roll. <laughs> small arms fire oh. pinging everywhere. It hits the side <laughs> of the ship. There are some, there are these drones that are now firing at you guys. It, it, like as the truck clears the inside of the vehicle, he, Jim slaps the button to close the door and is on his way up to the. the okay, captain's so you chair. drove all the way up. You didn't. Yeah, leave yeah. The park. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was picturing like they were driving up and Jim bailed out to get the door closed gotcha, and okay. get up to the. Yep. <clears throat> the pilot seat. That's so you can hear the suddenly. rounds hitting the the uh, the ship now. Ping, ping, pong, ping, pong, ping, pong, ping, pong, ping. Yep. Jim's hauling ass. Uh, so, like yes. before he even gets in the chair, he's like flipped the throttle all the way forward. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Give me a pilot roll. <coughs> All right. Well, you got like four of them now, Jim? <laughs> yeah, I got 46 now. All right. So that is a. Let's see. That's 11. Okay. Yeah. You get in the seat. Before you're in the seat, you're already moving. Shoot, move, communicate. You're flying, taking off. <laughs> uh, you can hear a couple of the bullets hit. Uh, they're just pinging off the side. Somebody get on the 88 just in case ship comes after us. I got the emergency brake on and both feet on the brake of the truck because no one bothered to strap it down. <laughs> <laughs> Betty, I need you on the 88. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> All right, and we will go to ship combat. Oh, yeah. Have we done it in this group yet? Not no, in this not group. This first group. Time. Nah, I watched All them. Right. 
do it. So I'm the uh, I'm the captain of the ship then. And that's because I have a foci that requires me to be the captain of the ship. Yep. All right. Uh, hold on I, one second. Let me pause for one second. I'll be right back. Okay. I need, yeah, can we take a fiber? I need to make a phone call real quick. Yep. Cool. So we have plus two command points, and I improve the ship in many ways. Nice. Yeah, yeah Jim, when it comes to combat, Jim's only focus is going to be piloting the ship. That in works. ship combat, because he, he's not really spec to do anything else. What options do we have? We have one. <laughs> Kill. Okay, we got everyone. one gun. <laughs> we just gotta clear a hole and make a break for it. I I did that right when I rolled those four d four right. It's you roll four and take the highest two. Are you for your level the, two specialist? Yeah, I have the same thing you got. Yep. Right. Which which one's okay. which one's that for? That is for uh pilot. Okay. Yeah, I use mine for, for my fixing. Yep. Yeah, I'm a level two specialist in uh pilot. Granted that we don't die in this uh this next space fight. We we think our next upgrade to the ship should be. Um, well, I mean we a were bigger ship. Yeah, we were looking at a better ship, <laughs> potentially. That's the hope, is we're going to get a bigger ship, which we is better, because it's yeah. bigger. And, I was um, looking at, like, the cargo freighter looks pretty nice. Um, however, some of the frigates do look pretty good, too, like the Corvette. That also looked really nice. Yeah, more for combat-based stuff, and we're trying yeah. to avoid doing combat in this, this play. This is true. Too. We're, we're doing a pacifist run. How much... Uh... How many hard points does the bulk <coughs> freighter have? Is it still just one? Still, the bulk freighter is worse than the free merchant when it comes to armaments. Well, that mean, that would mean it has no guns. <laughs> it has... Well, the free merchant can have... One. Uh, two. Oh, can it have two? Yeah, free merchant can have two, but it has very little power and mass. The heavy... The bulk freighter can have two as well, and you have a lot more power and things, but it's much more of a... Transport ship. Yeah. Carrying shit, shit around. You right. lose armor and stuff like that. Yeah, but the power is like being able to run two guns is going to be much better. I think that's why we only went with one gun, because we could only really run one gun. Yeah, because of power. Yep. Um, let me take a look here. So we have bridge action. We have the. Okay, the bridge action is the pilot, then we have the captain actions, the comms action, the engineer actions, the gunnery actions, and the general actions. There are, what, four of us, I think? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Bert and Ernie? Uh, we don't count them as people. <laughs> well, what about uh, Dalton? Dalton? Dalton, we don't count him. He's hunting Jawas right now. He can't yeah, do he's, anything. he's got a Bowie knife in his teeth and he's crawling through the air ducts <laughs> after the Jawas. <laughs> yeah, more than one person can do a single job. For example, if we were to put, uh, we're going to have uh, Jim as the pilot, the bridge mm -hmm. action. We're going to have Betty on the gun. I'm going to be the yep. captain. I can do something else as well. And if you want, you can do engineering or comms or both, if you like. I, I will focus more on engineering than comms, but if I have to double down as comms, I can do it. Yeah, I if I'm going to... Not to if be I have, Yeah, if I have to double down on comms, I might, I'll just be leading the target. And mostly what we're going to do, if we can, is above and beyond which is pick an attribute and skill check and explain how you're using it to help the ship. If the GM agrees, roll it against a difficulty nine on a success, gain your skill level in command points plus one. On a failure, take mm -hmm. minus one command mm -hmm. points. Jim and... Well, let's be honest here. Jim and Obi should have no problem with that. With their four dice. Yeah. So if we can go ahead and do that... Uh, yeah, if we do that, we should have enough command points to allow Betty to fire for a long fucking time. Right. I'll keep you lined up! <laughs> Let me go ahead and do some quick mathematics here. So we start with two command points just because I'm in command of the vessel. 
Okay. So what do you guys think? We're going to shoot our way out of here or run for it? Uh, make a hole and go for it. <coughs> if there's Makes anything in our way, we got to clear a hole and then just buggy. Makes sense to me. I'll be commanding from the box truck because it's still not tied down. <laughs> so where where is the... Uh, what page is the... 117. 117. Yeah. Let me look at my foci real fast. And we're going to do just the standard base delta zero on the planet when we leave. For anyone who knows Star Wars and knows that means orbital annihilation of the planet. <laughs> um, okay. All right. I would imagine How many CP do you get per turn? Oh, you got to give it to us, don't you, as the captain? Yeah. I st w what happens is we're going to put you on the gun. Okay? Yeah. And let me see here. Well, as soon as we know the situation, I'll start issuing orders. Yeah, makes sense. <coughs> so, okay. So who's the cap? You're the captain, Ada? Ada's the captain, yep. Yeah, we're making her the combat commander. <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're going to, we're... Uh... I have to do it correctly. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> we're we're gonna call her the CAC, the Combat Action Commander. <laughs> also, a worthless piece captain. of material. <laughs> oh, you got you got the best CAC. <laughs> yeah, because you get two free command points cack. with me every turn. <laughs> yeah, she's she's the Combat Action Captain. <laughs> I'm a cackle demon. Or Combat Acting Captain. I like that. <laughs> one, combat Acting Captain. <laughs> and you have the gun statistics correct, uh, Betty? Not on me, no. I, they were in an email. Yeah, they were on the Pornhub email. I can fix that real fast. Okay. There we go. I'm going to add these to my perfect. I'm adding these to my um, my notes. Yeah, I would imagine to like mount the gun. Like there's <laughs> there's just a chair in like a tube, and then yep. like when you get in the chair, you pull a lever, and your your tube starts to go up, and after a point where it clears the hat, like the the opening for you to get in the tube, the hatch on the top opens. So you gotta be in a vac suit when you do it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you're poof, right behind the fifty the the quad eighty eight. <laughs> <coughs> yep, it's like an express elevator into the eighty eight. <laughs> so. I'm curious, how does the damage work like on land things and then space things? Are space things like times by a certain amount? So like I use my rocket launcher on the ground and I've got, was it 4D 10s? But mm -hmm. if I use it in space, it'd be like reduced dramatically, I reckon? You would go ahead and I believe you deal half or quarter damage if you hit yeah. a vehicle with a weapon. Right. With a because heavy weapon, light weapons do nothing. Yeah, it's on the heavy weapon team. I can actually give you the exact information. All right, so pilot, give me a D eight roll. All right, that's it. Uh, is it is it the initiative one where I add my decks or no? Yep. Yep. Okay, so that's a four. Okay. All right. So who is on comms? Is that Obi? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Obi's going. You're going to do engineering and comms. I don't have to, I mean, I can do the comms, but I prefer not to do the talking. Well, you're not going to do any talking. Trust me on that. <laughs> just, do, just just, make some um, robot <coughs> first words up. <laughs> is, is the comms more like allocating targets and whatnot? Is that what that is? Comms, you can crash a system, roll an opposed in program system against a target ship on a success and starts its next turn with a command point penalty equal to your program skill. Oh, yeah, defeat I electronic oh, hell, we countermeasures. <laughs> you can defeat electronic countermeasures. You can also make a sensor ghost that improves our AC by your program skill. And you can also do general actions above and beyond, deal with the crises, and do your duty. Okay, um, give me a give me a program check. Can we get uh, Big Montana? And the two wounded people to do some engineering for us if it. Oh hell yeah! Big Montana will take that engineering. 
with a ten. Do you mind locking down this vehicle so I'm not stuck um, in here? <laughs> you uh, successfully, um, I guess not. Do, well, you perform enough countermeasures. Somebody tried to hack the nav system, and oh. you were able to block it. So you guys are up. What do we see on screen coming towards us? You see a uh, a ship in pursuit. It looks very familiar. Uh, the Renegade. How far away is it from us? Behind Probably. us, in front of us. <laughs> uh, it would be. It would be behind you. It's probably uh, a kilometer behind you because it was kind of circling the tower the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we could try and escape combat if we like. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Well, I'm 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 going for like hit and run, make a hole and run. Well, I think that's what I, I thought was. Uh, apparently, we're just being pursued from behind, so we just have to get far enough away to spike. Uh, there, there are two drones that have <coughs> weapons on them. How right now, away? they're just uh, you know shooting like a machine gun. Now, are they in space as well? Uh, what do you mean? You guys are like just taking off. Like the tower is still in view. Like you're okay. just taking. Like we've off. just cleared the landing pad, basically. Yeah, yeah you've just taken off. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, I say let's try getting the fuck out of here rather than having to have to shoot anything <clears throat> if we can. Well, yeah, we're, we're going to try and get up and out, yeah. but we need to hit anything that might get too close to us while we're on our way up and out. Well, the machine gun ain't going to do shit against our ship. Well, yeah, but that other ship behind us can hit us. If we can hit it before it has a chance to get caught up with us while we boogie. Well, there's also <clears throat> the bridge action which says escape combat. Hmm. Pilot skill check plus your ship speed against the fastest opponent's skill check plus their ship speed on a win. All enemy ships gain one point of escape. If an enemy ship gets three points after three uses of this maneuver, your ship gets away from the ship and is no longer in combat with it. Or we can try engaging it while moving at the same time. Because um. <clears throat> we could have, you know, just... Uh, Betty do like five or six fire one weapon on the damn thing and blow it to smithereens pretty quickly. I mean, that is that is that the only thing on our assist, like our scanners that looking like it can chase, like it can catch us? Uh, you know that there's a lot of ships <coughs> in the area, <clears throat> especially before... when you get out of the system too. Yeah. How long before we can spike some? Um you would have to get out of the gravity of the planet. Yeah, so no matter what, it's going to be moving. So might as well take out this ship then. Uh, yeah, might as well take him out quick and give us a little more breathing room. <clears throat> okay. Okay, Obi, see what you can do to get a firing solution on that vessel coming at us. Okay. And that's just uh, above and beyond or deal with it or uh, do your duty, whichever you like. Okay, yes, your program. Well, hang on, push up. Yeah, so basically, um, kind of how this, well, I mean, Josh was kind of explaining, but basically what you guys just collect, collect command points, and mm-hmm. then like the last person to go kind of uses them for their action, sort of. Yeah. So, ba- so basically what he said, what he was saying is like, you want to you guys want to accumulate the command points cuz you don't have any command points to do anything right now and if you want to attack this guy it's basically just going to you guys are going to collect all the points and then go to gunnery and let Betty just shoot the shit out of her yeah mm-hmm. so, so we, we start with two command points right but you're going to need you probably need as many as possible yeah that's the thing yeah. all right so, <laughs> so you got to does it do your duty or a, what's a- above seven? and beyond so above and beyond will be like helping Gunnar or something. Above and beyond and do your duty are pretty much the same thing. It's just going ahead and uh, above and beyond is more of a risk, but you have the option of getting more points for doing it. 
but yeah. you're doing a more risky version of just your standard duty. So for him, it might be like he's trying to get a firing solution on the target would be doing his duty, but to go above and beyond would be he's attempting to hack into their system and get ahead of their programming to see where the vessel will be. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, with that explained, then I will, I will try and for this round, I will try and just do my duty and help locate a target using programming. Yep. And I got 12. So is there a... Oh, that would be above and beyond, not do your duty. You don't have to roll. Yeah, you don't have to roll duty. for a do your duty. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's okay. above and beyond. Yep. Okay. Well then. And you have to pass a difficulty of nine. Yeah. Okay. So you did that. <coughs> so and what's your skill level and command points? Uh, what's your skill level? Uh, for program is I have a skill plus one. Okay. And then I, I don't know, intelligence. And that would be, uh, it's uh, on a success, gain your skill level in command points plus one, so we gain two command points. Yep. Nice. Okay. So yeah, you are accurately figuring out where these guys are going to be at the point that Betty needs to fire. Okay, Jim, see if you can bring us around for a pass against the vessel. Yep, I'll tilt the ass so we can get a good line of sight. Thank uh, you, do a, He's going to do above and beyond on his pilot. All right. <coughs> That's 12. Nice. Yep. So that's going to probably that'll be another plus two. Oh, what's your I have a skill? plus two pilot skill. Oh, so, so that's plus, plus three. three. Yeah. Yep. All right. Something. Piloting. So yeah, uh, Jim's gonna like whip the ass down so like the cannons pointed almost directly at him as we're like ascending almost belly up now. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, we need engineering and myself and then Betty. Big so, Montana. Big Montana, you mind going ahead and adding some extra power to the weapon system there? Yeah, reroute some like, of the corn whiskey up in them boosters. I'm seeing all the lights glow on and the, <laughs> the guy. I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have Big Montana do his duty to give us another one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everyone, stay tight and let's do this. Yeah, you would have got more command points, but he was drinking the solution as he was pouring it in. So he's always <laughs> drinking the solution. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta maintain. Yeah, he, he, Jim, Jim told him to, to rig up the still to give us a little more oomph. <laughs> and I'm going to I go got a ahead. sample first. <laughs> <laughs> and since I've been doing it, I'm going to support the department, which means that you can do a action that requires two or fewer command points for free. Betty? Two or fewer, so that means fire, your gun. fire one weapon. Yeah. So what you have here is you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have ten command points, and you also have um, yeah, you have a total of five shots you can do with the AT-8 against this ship. Oh. <laughs> you may fire when ready. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Okay, here we go. What do I have to roll for these? D20s? D20s, Dad. D20 add shoot, uh, D20 <laughs> add shoot and dex. Correct. Yep. Perfect. Tim's going to push right. the open open intercoms button. We got your crab cakes for you! <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you ignore up to 10 armor that their ship may have because of the 88mm gun. Okay. However, you can only fire five rounds and then the gun has to reload, so... At least yeah, two command points rounds. are going to need to reload it next uh, round. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So first shot, <laughs> I got a plus three. That is a fifteen. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay. So get rid of ten of the what? What is it? Armor or whatever? And then yeah, if the ship roll has two d six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we and pretty much ignore armor. <laughs> an eight, and then do I add my base attack bonus? Yeah. Uh, not your base attack bonus, no. Okay. Okay. Well, you then you would it's just add your dex modifier, oh, and if well, you then have the nine. gunslinger perk, your shoot as well. Nah, just nine. Yep. All right, there's a hit. 
<laughs> All right, four more to go. Uh, 13. That just misses. Oof. What did you do to the city? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one looks good. That's a 20, not natural. All right. Jeez. So that's eight damage on that one. Yeah, another right. hit. Uh, it's, it, it's starting to smoke. All right, fourth shot. Uh, Twelve, another miss. Yep, it falls short. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> Robots are just true in the area. Yeah. Destroyed. <laughs> Scattering everywhere as this is taking place. It's that one guy by the gate. <laughs> he gets it again. That's a good one. Uh, that's a nat 20. Nice. Okay. So Fifth shot. For your damage. Uh, roll. So 2d6 plus another 2d6. Four. Uh, so that's 16 all up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, natural 20, so. Don't forget the percentile died. <laughs> yeah, percentile. Well, one of these two. <coughs> and, oh, okay. Uh, a number three on the percentile. Okay. So, yeah, uh, the, the last shot hits it. Uh, must have been like a fuel line or something. And it was smoking, and it just, you can uh, you can see a, a small localized fire start to go through the whole ship. Uh, it loses all its bearing and skips. It hits the ground, skips one time, and just <coughs> explodes, sending shrapnel and pieces everywhere and droids nice. running for cover. But he's just in the mic going, yeah! <laughs> How you like them crab cakes? <laughs> All right. Yay. All right. Jim's, Jim's boogie in for space. <laughs> back yet door boogie in for space. <laughs> mm -hmm. We just made our own back door. All right. Uh, give me <laughs> another program roll, Obi. Go for it, Obi. Yeah. In your four D sixes. You got there, right? <laughs> They're nice. Eleven. Yeah, somebody attempted again to hack into the system. You have prevented it. Yay! I'm until we're out of atmosphere. Um. Let's see. Go ahead, uh, Jim, give me another initiative roll. That's better. That's a seven. So you are streaking up this, you know, explosion behind you. These other drones are flying around just shooting, not really doing anything. They're just kind of like pinging off the ship, doing some damage, probably dents that you're going to have to uh, take care of at some point. Uh, there is another free merchant type vessel that has now been begins to kind of like swooping down on you. You are you are up first, Betty. You got your gun up. Uh, well, it needs some loading. Okay, you're gonna take care of that in one second, Jim. You see that ship in front of you? Yeah. Give Betty the best shot you can to get through it. All right. Above and beyond. Thank you very much. Yep. So am I rolling a pilot then? Uh, yep. For above and yep. beyond. All right. Yep. All right. That is uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's going to be to nine. And you have a plus two to your pilot, you said? Yes. So you got plus three command points right there. Yep. Uh, Ada? Yep. I'll give in half a second. Are you, oh, you're going to do the... I'm ordering everyone around again. I'm a little <laughs> hit the right. Okay. 
Okay, Obi, see what you can do to go ahead and get on their systems. See if you can find out where they're going to be in the next few seconds. You can do. You bet you the best shot you can. Beep, boop, beep, boop. <coughs> Add another program then? Yep. Above and beyond what we're looking for. I am going to use my expert feet to re-roll that because I was going to four. Need a nine or higher. And I got 11. That'll do it. That's a plus two. Well oiled machine. Yep. Hey, yeah. The back door boogie. Back door boogie gets it done. The back boy boogie? Back boy. Back boy <laughs> back <door> boogie. <laughs> back boy. <board. laughs> we'll with put no you out board. on a backboard and shove you out the back door and then we'll boogie. I had a dollar for every time I heard that one. <laughs> Okay, then. Um, okay. Uh, here we go. Bert, Ernie, go ahead and get some extra ammo up to Betty quick. All right. And that's going to be the do the duty thing. Oh, they're yeah. manual laborers, too. That's good. good. Yeah, right? They're good Work at looking captain. boxes. Yeah. <laughs> that's thinking with portals. <laughs> And then I'm just going to support Betty's department again. Okay, Betty, get us in firing line and get that gun shooting. Yeah, Big Montana's got like a funnel and like a tube stuck to the to the corn liquor, and he's like, more, we need more, goddamn. <laughs> okay, so the first two command points for the free action, Betty, I'm taking you're going to use them to reload the gun? Yes, sir. Okay, so you got four shots. Make them count. Yep. Right, we go. Four more. <laughs> Number one. I'll take a natural 20. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. Holy <laughs> <shit>. number one. <coughs> All right. So it's double damage and a percentage roll. Never question examine engineering again. 28 plus one. 21. <laughs> well... Uh, roll There's percentage. A lot of very nice sixes in there. Yeah, so you just. <laughs> well, if it's a standard free motion, and, uh, you just blew it out of the sky. 83. <laughs> okay. Alright, give me a d10 roll. D10. What happens if you don't use all your command points on uh, Number you six. Uh huh. So we're just going to make haste then. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's a, this ship has come flying, you know, flying in to take care of it. The 88 moves, you move it quickly over. You, like a direct hit, like pieces of like this wing just blown right off. Um, it's smoking. <laughs> Uh, still Jim's flying just, though. Jim's just on open okay. comms. Get back, boys! <laughs> Snub team. Uh, I, I, I just yell, I can't hear anything! <laughs> and I take it's another shot. Kato, 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 kato. <laughs> uh, that's a 14 to hit. Hey, you didn't. Just what you needed. You didn't put your earplugs in in time. <laughs> <laughs> You're just deafened by kadoo, 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 kadoo. <laughs> uh, and that is 10 damage. All right, give me a D, uh, D10 roll. D10. Uh, that is a 7. Okay. Uh, you hit the, the hull. You can see that, that it's like there's now cracks forming in it. Structural okay. integrity is in question. It's still going. Right. I've got. Finish it, Betty. Four, I had four shots. You said. Yep. Yep. Right, I'm <coughs> Two on left. Number, number three. Uh, that's a little low. That's a seven. Yep. That misses. Where are you shooting at, there, Betty? <laughs> they can't all be winners. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and okay, one more. <laughs> uh, Eighteen. All right. 
Good round some D6s. Uh, we got six all up. All right, it is, it's like barely stable. Uh, hull is cracking, it's smoking, pieces of it have fallen off. <clears throat> it looks good. And I think that's all of our command points. Uh, no, that's um. <laughs> um, so let's see. Jim, go ahead and make me a pilot roll. Fourteen. I had myself muted. So the ship is moving toward it. That makes this loop, and it appears for a split second. It attempts to ram you. Oh, uh, you know, just no. move out of the way. It <laughs> slides right past you. You can maybe hear like metal scrape the, the bottom of your ship. It plummets down as it heads, uh, accelerates towards the the planet, and there's a big explosion. I call just... that one the shitty slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, <teeny! laughs> Oh, we lost the door. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, can right. we jump yet? I don't know. Are we? He's gonna look down at the the instrument cluster. Are we high enough? <laughs> Almost. Give me another initiative roll. All right. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's Jimmy. much better. That's a nine. That was good. Yeah. Nope. That's good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. there is another. This is uh. This ship <clears throat> is. A patrol boat. Very nice. <laughs> um, you hear them, so you go. You are able to go first. <coughs> this is UPM uh, patrol boat. Patrol boat uh, Wildflower. Um, could you please uh, uh, stand down? Uh, I'm sorry. We're jiving in Turkey and. Jim, get Betty another shot. Bert and Ernie, get the ammunition yep. ready to reload to her. Okay. Obi, yeah. see what you can Fuck find out coppers. about this ship. <laughs> Obi, see if you 14, can find any a... weak spots on these patrol vessels. I'm not familiar with the design. That's a 14 <laughs> on the, the above and beyond for the pilot. Yep. yep, another plus three. And then a one for Bert and Ernie. Well, you see what you can do learning about this vessel. I want to know this, exactly what I call this ready. wildflower or wild child. The wildflower. Wildflower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wild wildflowers. In a field of wildflowers. <clears throat> when the lights go down in the flower, I'm gonna check you for ticks. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> With the flower. <laughs> All right. We're about to make a field out of your wildflowers. <laughs> <laughs> been a massacre. Obi, you got that location set up for Betty then? <laughs> we are going to be that, so uh, hot in hmm? UPM space after this. <laughs> that can be out of this. Yeah. What? <laughs> Just above and beyond. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, 10. Right. Sounds good. Betty, make it happen. You got Ooh. one shot, then Bert and Ernie got the ammo for you already. All right. I still can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16. Uh, that is a hit. Oh, and a number 12, two sixes. Plus your dex modifier. Oh, plus one. 13. And you don't even notice it, but immediately the ammunition is just already in there. Bert and Ennio on the fucking ball here. Yep. They can go again. Got a good what did you say? <laughs> 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 did you get, 
It's a good thing we picked up a couple of motherfuckers. We needed some good loaders. They're good at toting boxes. We should pay them. Uh, yeah. Uh, number 14. That's a hit. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh, la, la. Uh, eight damage. Oh, plus one. Nine damage. Yeah, you're wrecking this thing. I mean, like, chunks of it coming up, uh, you can see, like, uh, the smoke and uh, <coughs> just it, – it's, it's in bad shape. You got two uh, left there, Betty. Two more? Okay. Yep. Right. Uh, 16. It's another hit. And every one of coconuts. Uh, nine damage again. Uh, give me a D10 roll. Number 10. They didn't have enough crises going on already. That's going to be a pain in the ass to manage as a DM. Like, everybody else gets to split the the whole ship up. The DM's got to do everything. (laughs) No, you just just pick something they do and just do it. Uh, Yeah, I'm I'm keeping notes on everything here. (laughs) All right, go go again. (coughs) One more time. One more time. Uh, 19. It's another hit. Whoa, Rolling one. again. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, seven damage. Yeah, you can see the hull begin to... Uh, seven damage. Give me a D10 roll. Uh, D10. Uh, nine. Yeah. Um, so the weapon is like he looks like this thing is trying to like calibrate to hit you, but it can't. Um, let's see what's he gonna try to do? He can't do that. The turret rings jam, so the gun's just like. Nur, 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 nur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the targeting computer just like got spinning and shit. It tur- it it is it pulls off pursuit and begins to just turn away, smoking in a, in, in uh, and has d- obvious damage. Question is, will Betty let it ex- escape? <laughs> uh, Captain, <laughs> yes. give me the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> give you the num- what numbers? <laughs> give me some command points. <laughs> I mean, if you gonna if you want to fire, we'll just we can assume we'll just go. We don't even have to go through the. I'll go through the rounds. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You I just, would you just fire away. Ahead. Yeah, just go ahead and roll. I'll give you a. I'll give you four attacks. Four. Okay. I'll just get them all up at the same time. I'm looking for a twenty. I got one twenty in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Let's roll these four. <coughs> Betty, the thunder god is here. Just blowing. 19, and that's 20 all up. 20 damage. Um, uh, and then the D100 is a uh, 97. Yeah. So, um, you, as this thing is smoking and then attempting to get out of your range, the flat gun fires again, ripping it apart. Uh, you can see it like <coughs> at a moment, the, the pilot try to eject, but all that comes out is just like uh, just a stream of flame, <laughs> like a carcass that's on fire. And it just explodes. And there's no sense. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to discuss how much HP these ships have, Peter, because they are way too low in the book for how good Betty is. <laughs> well, um, this we're just gun's a well-oiled so big. machine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, w- we didn't get shot at. I think that was our thing. <laughs> yeah. We were just well, loading me up. To I go. mean, that, that's just a general thing, you know? Yeah. Betty just ate them alive. Jesus Christ. I mean, I. I used the armor as like reduction, and I also gave them crisis. <laughs> oh yeah. So. Well, I mean, we do automatically penetrate most armor with a fifteen yeah. AP. <laughs> yeah. 
Holy shit. Way to go, Betty. So Betty comes down from the um the gun and she's like, Woo! I feel great. <laughs> but Nani, let's go. And I lead them into a bedroom and we have a shag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, w- would someone be kind enough to please tie down the vehicle so I'm not stuck in the back of this box truck? Right, you've been commanding the, the ship from the box truck. <laughs> oh. I mean, no Man. one tied the thing down, so I'm the only thing in there stopping it from blo- from falling around as we're taking off and everything. Right. Yeah, Jim would Jim would set us up a uh, spike route to get back to Sindoom <clears throat> using the non-lane method. Okay, yeah. yeah. You were able to spike as a bunch of uh, merchant ships and UPM ships begin to, like, move into your area. <laughs> Betty's like, we can take them! <laughs> nah. Betty's getting her rocks off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, I think mainly the reason that was working so well for us is because we just had, like, there were just so many shots available every time we had a chance to fire, you yeah. know? That was the idea, was to go ahead and make sure we could fire as much as possible. And when two of the crew have an automatic, oh, we pretty much instantly pass the above and beyond check for a bunch of extra well, points. What is it, even if we fail? What is it? I think you lose one. The same you lose one. You well, no. If, well, uh, when I'm talking with me and Obi, I think because we both went the same route, we both went expert and specialist. Yeah. Don't we have like two re rolls per oh, session, get, or is it one? You get one re roll per scene. Yeah. So each scene, which is a different scene, you can re roll again. Yep. And Betty also has the thing where if she misses, she can miss a hit automatically. Yeah, I can automatically hit one. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I mean, at this point, we just like, without realizing, we just made a really good crew setup. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys now are spiking through the meta dimensional space and spike again, you're in Sindum. Obi, you realize that um, you you picked up some sort of transmissions during the fight as you were trying to like jam signals. And, you know, there was some attack on your, uh, as somebody tried to hack in. You actually have some of the audio, Sinigmits, uh, I don't even think that's a word, but it is now, from the, uh, from the wildflower, like, on, on your comm system. Ooh, do we get to hear their final screams right before they die horribly? Oh, boy. If I can piece them together, I, I will play them on the comm system in the ship. Okay. <laughs> you hear the pilot. Uh, first, you catch a, a couple pieces of something about crab cakes from the Renegade. Uh, and then this is the uh, f- this is Merchant uh, Executioner. And then something about taking damage. And then this is... Um, Wildflower, UP, uh, UPM, moving in position. I'm under attack. Uh, uh, c- critical injury, uh, attempting to eject the ambassador. And, and that, and the transmission ends. I just killed Sindhu's ambassador. <laughs> uh, did, did that man say ambassador? I'm in my room changing. I barely heard it. Uh, you hear... Um... Betty in the other room orgasming over the noise <laughs> of the last people dying. <laughs> it makes sense because Betty no longer has her hearing, so she knows. Her- <laughs> you gotta turn it up, you know? <laughs> Betty's in there like, man, I'm being really quiet. I can't even hear myself. Uh, no, no, I'm not this loud. I mean, quiet. Oh, Obi, Obi, tell me that man did not say <laughs> ambassador. Oh, he said ambassador, but we cannot change what has already happened. Yeah, we're in the shit now. Or maybe now. we can. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the shit now. Jim's already like on our uh, our ship. Like our, uh, what is it? I just forgot what it's called. Bethel? It changes our, <clears throat> it makes us look like a ship we're not. Oh, sensor, sensor mission. mission. Yeah, sensor our mission. sensor mask. Putting, a, putting something different on. We'll go I with the, uh, that immediately. <laughs> the flying pancake. <laughs> So you're given uh, specific um, c- 
codes and signatures to land back and as you begin to head back to Sindoom and the nameless borough to land in the landing dock. And we can end right there. Yeah. Did we happen to like in the, the part about the ambassador, did it say ambassador to what? Is it a no? <laughs> no. That there's a crisis thing on uh, in the game. And so every time I had you roll a D10, instead of taking damage, you can take a crisis. So the D10, the 10 roll is VIP imperiled. So I was like, hmm, hmm. maybe I should use that. <laughs> You're muted, Josh. What international incident have we caused this time? <laughs> right. Well, you said the master <laughs> thing said that he would, he would uh, get you guys off. So yeah, I will be sure. amazed to see how the fuck he does. <laughs> we we might have just started like a, a war between <laughs> Sin Noom and the UPM or something. Well, that'll be a quick <laughs> war. That will be a quick war with how much better Sin Doom is. But yeah. <laughs> Well, at least we proved one thing. The 88 works. Oh, right. my yes, God, does. yes. <laughs> yeah, what a it's great weapon. It's not, it's not that much different from the laser, the, like, the standard laser gun, is it, though? Oh, it's it's much different, what I made here. <laughs> yeah, it's boss. Ultimate power. It, it, yeah. It's not the most powerful thing imaginable, and it's balanced, but it yeah. it's not something which is weak by any means. The main thing for balance is it's heavy, and it requires ammunition, unlike most things. Right. Yeah. The multifocal laser is 1d4. The uh, Reaper battery is 3d4. The fractal impact charge is 2d6, and that's kind of what this is based off of. Mm -hmm. And our weapon is actually weaker than that. It yeah. has less AP and one more ammo, though. But, right. yeah, so, I mean... It's not a bad yeah. weapon by any means. It's by no means the most powerful, though. Like, if we... But I think another reason why we were doing so well is because we had the two motherfuckers to go load for us, too. Like, yeah, we had a full crew. Yeah. yeah. I, I was gonna have uh, What's-His-Name do that if those other two people went there. Right. Yeah. But, no, I mean, they were great. Oh, my yeah, God. The, yeah, that Bernie. was just more RP <laughs> purposes. Yeah. yeah, that was good. So I wanted you guys at least have some chip combat. I realized we didn't have any support. So yeah, I watched their one a little while ago. It sounded pretty complicated, but we sort of got it. We just yeah. had to... It's a pretty elegant system for like yeah. chip combat. Everybody has something to do, and it makes a difference. The yeah, I mean, basically the focus was to destroy the ships, but you get something a little bit different where you have to do other stuff, and it just it comes down to more than just blowing the shit out of everything. Yeah, That's true. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of stuff that... I was hoping we'd have to do something else, but when I saw what we were facing, I'm like, they don't have enough HP to really stand up to a full volley, most of them. Yeah, I gave uh, the second merchant ship <coughs> more HP. Yeah. But right. that didn't he matter. Heavy armor. <laughs> and I the just kept giving it crises after crises, and it was like... <laughs> at this point, the ship is barely a ship at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you didn't give it more HP... Betty literally one-shot it with yeah. the Nat 20. <laughs> yeah, and there is a crit hit chart for this <coughs> too, so. Yeah, the lucky in that. <laughs> no, you were great. And There's I was going to have the patrol boat shoot because it had like three <laughs> HP left, but the crisis was the a targeting weapon. system was disabled. <laughs> I was like, well, and the other guy tried to ram you, but you avoided him. I was like, well, he's got nothing better to do. I'm just going to try to ram him. The only hope is that Jim rolls low. <laughs> With four <laughs> dice with and four plus things. three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same thing with Obi. I mean, Jim and Obi right now are very much the MVPs of the group in many ways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just like, the Expert is such a good class. Like, I thought about doing Warrior yeah. or the Psionic shit, but I was like, you know what? I really want to be good at, like, a couple of things really, really well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> Well, that's the thing, is the expert's a good class, and also, you got skilled two ranks in it, both of you. Yeah. So, you know, and since you two mainly do what that's in, it's like, oh, yeah, this is going to go great. <laughs> right. Well, my best one. Like, all, all those rolls are my program. I only get 3d6. 
like my yeah, well, 46 is my fixing. Yeah, see, I mean, if we put you in engineering, we could have gone even better. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I mean, that's why I was confident when I knew your roles. I'm like, oh, yeah, we can do above and beyond instead. We don't have to do just do your duty and get the plus ones. Right. And now that we know how well the 88 does, we can modify it and make it better. <laughs> yeah. We got hustle points, don't we? Who's got hustle points left? <coughs> I do. I do. Of course, yeah, uh, same. Loomis is gone because he never, I mean, uh, Josh, the other Josh has them because he never uses them. <laughs> Why would I use my hustle points? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it, but you know, I had the, my, my expert feature of re rolling one for a scene. I was like, yeah. oh, I'll just yeah. Do that. Right. yeah, so uh, think about how you want to use them because we use them up so. That that dual rocket launcher, fifty eight damage. That was fucking insane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the the thing to note as well is that the eighty eight once again, it's not that powerful. It's well, not because we have at, so many shots. Yeah, but every gun would have that many shots. Yeah, that's the thing is, if we but, wanted something more powerful, plasma beam, three d six, AP ten. No ammunition reloading, so that's better. It's just more expensive. Or spinal beam cannon. Or we, we spring for a second eighty eight. And just Whoa. We got that Dalton. Would, that would require you to use to fire all weapons, which is th three command points, so you could get a total of two, you could get a total of six shots then with the two of them each round. And then we'd still have one command point left over for beer and alcohol. Because we do have two hard points on this ship, but we'd have to uh, do some uh, power and upgrading. mass allocation. Yeah. Well, the mass, it's, le it's half a uh, mass unit. Mm. And it takes three power. Well, when we turn into like a cruiser or whatever... Why not? It, like, yeah, we'll, if that goes through, we can definitely do the quad eight or the two eighty eights deal. Or just make them quad eighty eights. Fuck it. Whoa! Well, I, I thought they were quad eighty eights. Like I thought it was like a four barrel system. Uh, That's the what system I, got. I made for us was a. Let me look at my. Oh yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like, the four barrel. <coughs> yeah, it's system. got the. Yeah, it's it's a yeah. quad system, and it was manufactured. It's known as the right arm of the free world. And it was manufactured. No one knows who manufactured the original 88 millimeter gun. <laughs> All they know is that it was fought to liberate nations that were oppressed by tyranny and evil. <laughs> now it was known as the right arm of the free world. Yeah. Or we could just, like, we could end up, like, using our second hard point to make an Octa 88. <laughs> <coughs> That was cool. Thanks, Peter. That was fun. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was great. It. Uh, so in two weeks, it will be the 13th. Everybody good for that? I'll be here. Same. Okay. And next week... If y'all can make it, I really would like to, to do that test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do a Twitch chat test. So mm -hmm. um, okay, I'll the have, test, can... have the overlay set up and everything and see if it will work. All right. That's fine. During the test, we can uh, find out Thursday. what to do with hustle points. Hmm? Do that, that Twitch test next Thursday? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I can make that, but I can't make uh, two weeks. I'll be out of state. My wife and I are going on the honeymoon. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice, right. man. Well, invite her to play, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let her have a shot of the um, of the of the ADA. Maybe that'll get her rocks up as well. <laughs> <laughs> see this? See this weapon? Now imagine it on a spaceship. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and I just orgasmed. Fuck. <laughs> And I just in my pants. Oh, and I just can't wear my pants. 
Hell yeah, that was a good question. <laughs> we had a lot of good moments. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of moments where I'm going like, how does this make any sense what we're doing? I, d I didn't know how it was going to go when I jammed that, that revolver up that guy's nose. <laughs> That was a good start, because, yeah, at the beginning of this, was like, oh, this isn't going to end well. We're going to try and storm this place. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, this, I was thinking, I was thinking, I'm like, oh, do we try and just, like, smooth talk it? Like, you know, we said we were unloading wire, but we're really janitors, or what do we do? And I'm like, oh, we're going to open the door soon. Now, fuck it. <laughs> Pistol in the nose. <laughs> Hello, Bert. And all the meta communication I'm trying to do, like, oh, do this, do this, do this. <laughs> well, we, it's not too bad when we do some meta communication because, like, we, got we do comms. have comms. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but still, you know, right behind the guys as they're walking. Luckily, they're underpaid. Yeah. Underpaid never works. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. They're just happy to get free. Huh? Yeah. All righty, guys. Yeah. See you guys next week for Twitch. All right. Yeah. See ya. All right. Take it easy. Yeah, good.